Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. And welcome on in to Randomized Perfection. Real quick, how's the music sound? There was like a whole big update to the music player I used to, to do my stream music. And uh, it caught me off guard beforehand, so I had to like real quick scuttle everything together. But hopefully it sounds like just normal. <laughs> sounds groovy. Alright, I'm hoping it's not too loud. Little quiet, maybe? I can I can bump it up by like a single notch. Go from we're currently at eleven volume. Why don't we try thirteen volume? It sounds like twice as loud in my ears. <laughs> not tw maybe not twice as loud, but louder than a two decibel. Well, not two decimal, but you know what I mean. Either way, I can always turn it up more if if uh, if we need to. Hope everyone's doing all right. Yeah, let me know. Let me know if the music ends up being too quiet, but uh, hopefully it'll be just peachy keen. Peaches, 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 peaches. Music is now drowning you out a little bit. Okay. Um. <laughs> so it's too quiet at eleven. A little too loud at th at thirteen. Twelve. It's the only possible option. How's how's twelve sound? Twelve out of a hundred, by the way. <laughs> Can still barely hear it, it's really strange. Sounds good. Still very quiet for you, but maybe that's just you. Sounds fine. Music is perfect. Didn't even know music was playing at first. The duality of chat, the music is perfect, There's and then there's music? Huh? <laughs> it sounds good. I just wanna make sure we get this right. At the, at the start here, because I don't want to have to finagle with it too much throughout the stream. A bit quiet, but honestly, it's fine. Music is good. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say music is good. I'll listen back to it during the vod and uh, and adjust accordingly if I need to. Maybe it's headphones difference. It could be headphones difference. Yeah, for those who might might or might not be wearing headphones. Either way, super excited to get into it here. Um. We are a single year away, a single luau, a single starfruit away from Junimo Hut greatness. Now, we do have some things we probably want to try and take care of in advance in preparation for that Junimo Hut. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it here. So, uh, before we get into that, we do have a lovely little poem, a continuation of the po poetry of Mia on Discord to get us hyped for, for more of Beatrix's adventures. Get yourself ready. Buckle on in. This is an intense one. This is called A Nightmare of Numbers. Thank you again to Mia in the Discord for uh, for writing this. Written by Mia. Performed by yours truly. Nightmare of Numbers. There in her bed. This is this is not the right kind of music for this. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta get... We gotta get better music for this one. Um... We'll go with this maybe let me play it no that's not that's not right either we got we got to find a good spooky song good spooky song but i can't find the actual spooky song i'm thinking of it'll be fine you know what all right poem nightmare of numbers there in her bed, not yet dead of fright, a girl sleeps without light. A dream yet approaches, a mare or quotient, to not be bespoken till it makes a nest in her head, as she dreams of one simple thing, the numbers that quiet her heart. Around and around they continue to pound, was it one, two, three, or soon yet to be me? Or is seventeen yet the worst of them all? How many days has she lived through, but now, and can she even keep count? They loop and they wind, yet seem to rewind, be counted again and again. Was it 563 or 562? Grandfather, help me keep count! Still may the years she sleeps yet away be counted along with her fate? De her dear randomizer, does it despise her? As she sleeps there alone in the dark, a chill in the air, a nightmare spare, that haunts her alone all eve's night. The spirit's night's eve will twist up her ease as scariest sights fill the land. 
to leap from her bed, yet head filled with dread, as the numbers knock round her noggin. The veil is thinnest on this of all nights, but Beatrix will not alight. No spirit will quell her, no number shall mell her moxie, for that girl walks with stars in her wake. No spirit can scare her this day. Thank you to Mia for that one. It got, got a little intense and spooky near the end. I was getting some some Halloween vibes. I got I got into it. Thank you, Mia. Claps for Mia. And hey, Museum Grack Reads as well. Thank you for the 149 super sticker. Looking like a diamond in the rough. Greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate the support. Greatly appreciate the fan art in the form of the written word. If you'd like to share fan art of your own, be it written or visual or otherwise, exclamation point Discord. There is a link to the uh, Discord there. Join us, thrive, and um, there's a fan art channel where you can share what you want to share. Let me know if you want to be seen on stream. Let us know how you want to be credited. If you want to be credited, all that good stuff. It was a great. That was a great poem. It was a very good one. Mia, you've outdone yourself. Also, hey, happy June, June first. Can we get some rainbows for June first? Happy Pride Month, everybody. Don't know if we'll do anything specific to celebrate it, but uh, I feel it's warranted. All right. Let me ooh, stretch. Why do I have a single gold star cherry in my inventory? I don't even know. <laughs> Unfortunately, seven is your favorite number. Seven's a good favorite number. Seven, seven's a great number, actually. All right, hop on in here. Museum Grack Reads, thank you for another 149 super sticker. Stu a super rainbow, if you will. It is Pride Month already, believe it or not. Part of me wants to, because you know how in you know how with Junimo Huts you can put a, a mineral into them to change make them change like color or whatever. Part of me wants to go find a prismatic shard so that when we get our Junimo Hut, we can we can we can pride it up with the with the rainbow Junimos. But I also, I mean, I don't want to betray, betray the star shards. Just, I mean, they've been so good to us. They've been so good to us, so I don't know. Also, it would take <laughs> it would take a bit more effort than I'm willing to probably put in to go get a prismatic shard right now. I guess I could get one pretty easily from uh, Skull Cavern, if, now that I think about it. Prismatic Pride. Hello, Wickety. Hello. Hello, uh... Avocado. Avocado. Hello, welcome on in. Good to see you. Just realized you're one of those people who leaves butter out on the table instead of putting it in the fridge. How do you know? I don't actually do that. I get very upset about when people leave butter out instead of putting it in the fridge. It doesn't make sense in my head. Alright. Um, What are we doing today? So, here's the thing, right? We're one day past the luau. We gotta sleep one more whole year to get our final star fruit. For those keeping track, which should be everybody, because it's like the main crux of what we're doing here. We got eight star fruit. We need a ninth star fruit. We need one more star fruit in order to have our Junimo hut. So we gotta start preparing. We gotta start planning. Um, the main reason that we want this Junimo hut, for those who may have lost the plot, I wouldn't blame you, is this one right here, quality crops bundle. So when the Junimo hut comes around, we're gonna get it on the base, basically like the day after the luau, so it'll be like the middle of summer next year. Um, so we'll want to plant some melons and probably some corn in advance of that to try and try and get those as much as possible. Here's the thing. If we plant like a bunch of melons and a bunch of corn or a bunch of whatever crop and we want to get gold star quality crops, if we just plant them, our chances of getting gold, gold star quality crops are a measly 1% at our current farming level. If we use quality fertilizer, which we can buy from Pierre, we can bump that up to 8%. Okay, 8% not bad. However, with some farming buff foods, I think like if we get like a ma like a max buff of like plus three farming from a farmer's lunch, it goes up to like 24%. It's like it's it's a pretty significant boost. And even if we can only get like a plus two buff, it's um that's st it's still like substantially better. According to the wiki, anyway. These are numbers I'm pulling directly from the wiki. So I think we should invest some time within the next year to, like, uh, to check in with Gus, number one. 
Because Gus can't sell farmers lunches. He can't they don't get sold at the Star Drop Saloon, apparently. Um, red plate, but he does sell some other stuff that uh can boost your it can, it can boost your farming skill, like hash browns and pepper poppers and all these sorts of things. Two buff sounds like tuba. <laughs> I played the two buff in in high school. Farming buff does help with Junibo harvests. I've I've made sure to check into this, yeah. Ancient fruit in advance too, right? That's probably a good idea. Plant our ancient fruit nice and early on, on like the first uh, day of year seven. Complete breakfast, then trout soup or plus two. Trout soup is plus two fishing, right? Hash browns is plus one. Complete breakfast is plus two. Tom Ka soup is plus two. Um, pepper poppers are plus two. And farmer's lunch is plus three, right? I believe those were the uh, the foods when I when I last checked. Also, we need to figure out like where the heck, you know, I'm gonna go out tomorrow anyway, so we'll, I'll just sleep the day away here. We need to figure out where the heck the um, the Junima hut's gonna go. <laughs> like, I was I was looking at our farm and trying to figure it out, and it's a it's a mystery wrapped inside of an enigma, wrapped inside of a a golden walnut. Uh, it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be tight fitting it in somewhere over there. Thank you for the insight. Like part of me was like maybe I could like get rid of my fruit trees and plant stuff here, but like there's not really that much room up here, I th and we need more room if we want to plant like a decent selection of crops. Uh, the the real best location I think we might have to make some sacrifices in order to make this happen. XP based sacrifices is like right down here with our with our barn and our coop and everything like right maybe like right smack in the middle here we can get like get rid of this rock get rid of some of the fiber just like clear a nice little area here and then protect it with like grass starters all around so no debris can get in and then maybe that's our best bet are we going to be checking Krobus on Saturday for his food stock that is where my next uh, destination actually was that's why I wanted to head out on Saturday, because Krobus does have the chance to sell um, Farmer's Lunch in addition to several other farming food buffs. So on Saturday, we should check in with Krobus, at least for the foreseeable future. Won't the grass just destroy the farm? Does grass destroy farm tiles? Does, I've, 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 I haven't done farming in so long. Will the grass just, like, just, you just eat away at our crops? I thought it was debris that ate away at the crops. I don't know. I don't know if grass does. No. Will we will be safe from the grass. All right. What do we got here? Blueberry tart. That's not what we, not what we're looking for. Krobus. It does sound delicious. Don't get me wrong. Blueberry tart made fresh in the sewers of Pelican Town. Yummy. But it's not for me today. I'm sorry. Grass doesn't eat things. Not if there's something planted. Okay. So if, if it was just like tilled soil with nothing, then it would uh, have the chance to eat it, but not if there's an actual crop there, which is probably going to be the state of things. What are we looking for? We are looking for food that buffs our farming skill to make quality crops a little bit more realistic. Who flushed the blueberry tart? Who hate who hates a blueberry tart? That's just that's like hating kittens. No, it's, no one does it. All right, so now we can just go ahead and I think I think we basically just sleep. We're gonna check in. Should we check in with Gus? Here's the thing: like if we check in with Gus daily, it does add a little bit of time to every single day. But it's probably worth it. Or we or we just check in with Krobus once a week and and take our chances there. But Krobus has like so many possible options. I mean, so is the saloon, but I, if we want to hedge our bets and get something good, as far as, like, fa farming buffs go, then we probably want to check both. Does count calling Gus daily count, count as talking to him for friendship? It does not, especially because we're only talking to his answering machine every single time. We call him literally, like, 6, 10 a.m. at the latest. 
Oh yeah, I gotta pin the goal as well. Thank you, uh, Shania, for exclamation point goaling and reminding me. Pin that goal. Will we get there today? Chad, what do you think of the odds are we catch a blue discus today? Do you think do you think it's uh it's higher than not? The spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm, by the way. Don't know where exactly that happened, but it's it's out there somewhere. 85% chance. Like 40% chance. Ortia. Odds are at least seven, I'm with you. I think I think at least seven. Pretty good, pretty good number. I mean, I'm optimistic. If we if we can get, especially if we can get some farming buff food nice and early here, then I would be, I would be more ecstatic. I don't know how many farming buffs I want. Also, now that these uh, crystallariums have run their course and give me more diamonds, I am going to actually replace them real quick. We're going to go ahead and put, um, we're going to, I'm actually going to duplicate a single star shard because I still want one for my inventory as my lucky charm. It's going to be feel, feel weird being without it for a minute. And we'll put Jade in the rest. Just don't accidentally overwrite the star shard because I want one star shard for the Junimos. But I still want to keep one for myself, you know. And then we're going to get Jades going for potential Skull Cavern Skullduggery in the future. What's Skullduggery mean? Is it like thieving? I didn't, I didn't need to go out that far. It's raining. On rainy days, we don't need to spend any extra time. Do you have any rubies for Spicy Eel? I do not, I'm pretty sure. Call Gus. Didn't he have Tortilla? No, he had Tortilla yesterday. I'm getting my days confused here. <laughs> Yeah, farming buff does work with Junimo Huts. Lucky Lunch? I mean, it's tempting, but it's not what we're in the market for right now. I'm not willing to wait until noon for, for Lucky Lunch that I might not new use in the near future. Well, I mean, Lucky Lunch is so good, though. Lucky, what, what other luck buff foods do we have right now? We have fried eels for plus one luck. We have pepper poppers for plus two, plus two farming. I didn't even realize we already have some farming buff food. Okay. And we have some pumpkin soups. I mean, I'm willing to I'm willing to forego the lucky lunch. Take it, do it. I mean, I'm seeing. Okay, we'll 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 do lucky lunch today. All right, uh, you got me. You got me. You convinced me. Lucky lunch is pretty rare from everything that we've seen. So, do you think three pepper poppers is enough to get all the quality crops we need? That's plus two. Let me let me wiki this. Let me wiki that. Farming. Um, quality frequency. So if we go quality fertilizer, which we'll have from Pierre, and level two farming, the percentage chance of a gold quality crop is eighteen percent. We could do that on three days with uh with pepper poppers. Three days of eighteen percent odds. If we plant enough. If we plant enough, um, let's do a garbage run. If we plant enough crops, then that's probably fine. But we'd be, we'd be, we'd be chancing it, is all I'm going to say. Skullduggery in your heart means a funny skeleton man. <laughs> Hello, my name is Skull. Skullduggery. That's my funny skeleton voice. Do you like it? Should I keep an eye out for food used to craft other food, like hash browns? It's a good idea, actually. That's a, that's a good thought. I never really thought that far ahead. Oh, by the way, I did change some elements, or one one main element of the randomizer um, for the future. I updated some of the prerequisites for certain goals, because there are certain cooked dishes that requires specific fish, like, namely, there's, like, a, you know, Lucky Lunch requires a sea cucumber, um, Trout Soup requires a rainbow trout, and previously, up until this point, if you rolled those goals, the only way to get those fish would be to get them from, um, either the traveling card, if you're allowing that, or from trash cans, and we're not, in, I'm, I'm not about to 
put put us through that grind of having to find a specific fish from a trash can, especially when some, most fish are only available in specific in like one season or two seasons. So uh, I've changed it so that those those cooked dishes will not be rolled until after we've already been able to catch those fish, if you know what I mean. I should probably do like something productive here. I guess I, guess I could do a little clay farming. Just a little clay farming. Hey there, Emmy. If the Junimo harvest doesn't don't, don't harvest enough golden crops, I could reset the day, sleep immediately to keep them from harvesting, and then try again the next day to see if the RNG is kinder. That is a uh, potential option for sure. That's prob that's probably like the best way to go about it, honestly. I'm willing to give it a try. I'm wi I'm willing to hedge our bets because I am very excited to get the Junimo hut. You know. I'm excited as, as anybody else, maybe even more excited, dare I say, to get to the actual uh, Junimo hut. And get on with the uh, with the rest of everything. And I don't want to bog us down too much by having to go and look for food. I didn't realize I had those pepper poppers in my, uh, in my fridge. And I have the chance to get more pepper poppers from supply crates. I think that's where I got those initial ones, right? Or did wait, no, pepper poppers from supply crates. Maybe not. Maybe I just bought them at Gus at Gus's one time. Maybe that's uh and like when I was buying when I was just out and about. I'm trying to think now. Where did I get those pepper poppers? I might have bought them seeing like, oh they got a farming buff. That could come in useful in the future and now is now is the future. The future is now. Watching on your lunch break? I respect that you, uh, or I appreciate that you're giving me that time. Make sure you get the battery from today's storm. No worries. We, we always get the battery at the end of the day. Alright, Gus, what do you got for me? A single lucky lunch? You little cheeky, you cheeky saloon owner, you. Get the heck out of here with that. I mean, one lucky lunch is better than none lucky lunch, so I guess we'll take it. Hey there, local rat. Do I want a list of helpful crops to stock up on just in case of a cooking recipe or shipping goal as goal four? I mean, realistically, shouldn't I just, like, uh, grow, like, I don't know, a few of every crop <laughs> to be on the safe side? Like, cause it could be, we could get, like, ship any crop, basically. So I should probably be ready for that eventuality. I bought the pepper poppers for the speed buff. Oh, well, turns out the farming buff is going to be more useful. There we go. I guess I should also deposit this clay in this battery pack and everything. Ship artichokes. Some cooking recipes need way more of something than you need for one crop. There are, so yeah, I should I should probably brush up on that on like which ones are actually necesito, which ones I need like a lot more of. Don't I need like lots of tomatoes or something for for a lot of dishes? That would make sense. Be sure to keep at least one of each regular egg and regular milk for shipping. I have been doing exactly that. I've been uh, I've been keeping keeping tabs on that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna take my chances with the three pepper poppers, and we'll we'll make it work when push comes to shove. When when chat when have we ever not made it work? Regardless of circumstances in any challenge, we've all, we always make it work one way or another, right? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I'm not gonna waste our time and dilly dally about trying to get like farmers lunch for for maximum odds or anything like that. Let's just, let's just make it work. Let's just, like, let's just vibe. Can we get some vibe in chat? Just, like, just, just vibe. Vibe out. There's a good reference on the wiki for all the things needed for cooking. It, it's, there's, there's, like, a good uh, chart, yeah? Like, if you just go to, like, the cooking page, then you get, uh, like, a full list, yeah. All right, star shard for the Junimos, successfully acquired. Go ahead and bust this open. 
All right, save this one here. Welcome back, Lucky Star Shards. You might be like, Argon, how do you know that these are the lucky ones and the ones you put in the fridge aren't the lucky ones? Trust me, I Beatrix knows. I trust her to put the right one in the fridge. Wiki has a list, but oil of garlic isn't in cooking and, re and requires 10 garlic. You're not wrong. But what are the odds we get cook oil of, or craft oil of garlic as our as goal number four? I think the odds are literally zero because the, don't you get only get that recipe from like combat level seven or something? I don't even know when you get that. Um, more cherry wine for me, please. Oop. You like my attitude? I've been trying to, you know. Even even as as much as I tend to promote optimism, you can always do more, and you can always be more positive in in certain aspects of your life. And even outside of streaming lately, I've been trying to be like very positive. You know, I've been waking up every day and saying, you know, I'm. I keep. I always say to myself, I've I've been of the mind like over the past few years, I want to say that I wake up and I'm just like, you know, what I'm, I'm going to take whatever the day is going to give me. Nowadays, lately, I've been waking up and I'm like. Today is going to be a good day, and that's the attitude I run with as long as I possibly can. I'm, I'm like, until evidence, until I get evidence to the contrary, I'm going to call today a good day. And you know what? Just that mentality on its own is is kind of enough to bolster your mood and make you more productive in a lot of ways. If you can really convince yourself and truly believe that every day is going to be a good day unless until it's like proven to the contrary. And trust me, if you have that attitude long enough, it takes a lot for it to prove to prove to the contrary, at least for me. Welcome on in, Allie. Good to see you. Fruit trees do not give farming XP, thankfully. That's uh, been one great boon <laughs> early on. Otherwise, this, this challenge could have shaped up very differently if we did not, if we were not able to use fruit trees for anything. Or Pi didn't get pet that time. Someone else has got to do it for me, then we got to catch up. Explanation point pie. There's a recipe that requires apricots. We do have, we have one of every tree. We have, we have a couple apricots, I would say. I think we're going to be all right. Thanks for looking out though. I should probably like clean out this fridge a little bit, huh? It's a little, it's a little full, but <laughs> it's full of useful stuff. Chat, we're going to use all of this by the end of the challenge. Mark my words. Everything in that fridge will have some utility. What's blue and smells like red paint? I know this one. This is, um... Oh, gosh. It's blueberries. It's blueberry tarts. Blueberry tarts. We were we saw Krobus selling them. They smell a lot like blue, like red paint to me. Blue pl blue paint, lol. She got me. <laughs> you got me good. I'll give you. I'll give you a plus two on that joke, Allie. Plus two. Almost four hundred pets for pie. Who's gonna get the four hundredth pet? Uh, uh. It's me. It's me. I got it. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Streamer advantage. I beat I beat everyone to it. <laughs> I saw the opportunity and I took it. I take it. I'm literally I'm the only one who can actually pet pie like in the game, so it's it's kinda it's kinda mean for me to to take <laughs> take that away from you, but I could I couldn't help myself. I'm so sorry. Tim Beeb deserves pets too. Yeah, we've been uh we've been slacking on Tim Beeb pets. I is very is very front of mind, but never forget Tim Beeb is the OG. You know what? Bring me back. Get some love for Tim Beeb real quick. Where is where's he at? Where's my boy? Hello, Krobus. How you doing? If I could help you, I would, but I do my best to keep the house in order. Where's my boy Tim Beeb? Timby! There- Oh! He's exactly where we left him. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. 
<laughs> he's got the auto petter. I forgot, Chad. He has the auto petter. He's been getting pets all this time. This whole time, he's been getting pets. All right, and I mean, I have to, I have to sleep this one day because otherwise, it won't lock in the pet. So we're gonna sleep one day. Frugal farm, good memories, eh? <laughs> good memories indeed. All right. Everyone say goodbye to Chloe for now. She'll be back in the future. Don't you worry about her. And, uh, oh, that's weird seeing them, like, side by side like that. Ooh. <laughs> the difference between this farm and the new farm, I know, right? I, I stepped outside, and I was, like, I was a little bit shocked. I was like, what? <laughs> Where's, where are all my trees and all my grass and all my everything? What happened here? It's beautiful. Pickle jar rag. Haley is watching over us, too. You love to see it. You love to hear it, even. Petition to get concerned, Abe, to add account for every pet given by the auto better. <laughs> PJR. Get some PJR in chat, please. Chat, did you guys see the uh, the tweet from Concerned Ape literally like yesterday? He all he tweeted were, he tweeted two words: Iridium Scythe, and the entire Sardi Valley community broke. Never has never have two wor two words wielded so much power. Literally everyone is talking about it. I know, right? He literally just tweeted Iridium Scythe. That's that's literally all he said, and everyone's like, Argh! no one knows how to interpret it. It's insane. Of course, me being the Chaos Gremlin I am, I had to reply to him and be like, no, nah, why don't you just get rid of all the other Iridium tools? That way, just like the gold ones match. And ever and gold can just be the highest tier instead. Just get just get rid of Iridium. I'm going on an Iridium boycott. Iridium pan. Oh, even better. Just get rid of every tool beyond copper. And copper can be the... Well, they'd have to introduce a copper scythe then. That would be a, that would be problematic. Anyway, Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Um, we're not we're not about that life right now. I respect them, though. Exclamation point jelly. It better not be a troll. I guess we'll find out once uh, 1.6 comes around. There's no way he'd drop it sooner than 1.6 in, like, a hot patch or something. But... Just get rid of all tools. There you go. Pull a leap a lot. All right. Um. Tomorrow is our debris day. Let's not forget that. Iridium jelly. Now we're talking. All right. How's our debris? I should also probably check in with the animals. Make sure they're not uh, not going hungry. We last I remember we did have like a lot of hay in our silo, so I think we're going to be okay for the foreseeable future, but it's worth checking in every now and again, especially when we're out for Debris Day anyway, right? Infinity Tools, want to combine them with... Oh, that would be cool if you can combine your tools with, like, uh, with Galaxy Souls and stuff like that. And get even more advantages out of them. Take them even further beyond. I'd be here for that. Iridium Dwarf. Iridium Dwarf Helm, maybe. Could be the, fir the first armor in Stardew Valley. That's not boots. How you guys doing? Little chickens? Little ch chicken in the hooties? Knockoff version of Hootie and the Blowfish? They may be a knockoff, but we we love them all the same. Even more, potentially. Forge upgrades for the scythe, that's also a possibility. I mean, the, the possibilities are limitless. There must already be an Iridium Scythe mod out there, right? Or, like, several Iridium Scythe mods. I feel like people want it so bad that it's... it's there's... Many people have probably taken it upon themselves. Many people are saying this. All right, I want to make sure to keep this this place in check. Best I can. I don't want to get too overgrown like last time. What in the blowfish? You want your galaxy hoe to shoot lasers? That's certainly an idea. 
It's, it's with, with mods, anything is possible. Lasers from the get from the galaxy ho. I swear that you can get pepper poppers from a supply crate. Am I just making that up, or is that like not, maybe it's from like a future house upgrade that that's possible? But I feel like that's I feel like that's a thing. All right, watch all this debris. The debris is spreading more so around here than anywhere else because they're they're eating so much of the of the grass. But it's it's okay. We'll forgive them. They don't know any better. This is all they've ever known. There's an iridium scythe mod on Nexus. It turns the gold scythe into iridium. That's literally all you have to do, yeah. And people will, will pog up. People will go crazy. How you doing over there, Pi? Pi is loving the grass. Saw that supply crate over there. Don't, don't worry, I'll go back for it in a second. I just want to catch this stick over here. Wasn't there an idea for Silo 2 in the last stream? Not only was there an idea for Silo 2, um, Silo 2 was executed. We have we have two silos now. That that does remind me, though, I gotta go actually check the silos. Make sure we're on top of the hay business. Did I skip past the seed on purpose, or are we talking about the hardwood seeds? In, in which case, I think I did skip, like, one of them on purpose. But, uh... But if there was other ones than that, then no. Okay, we're still doing just fine. You missed you missed the second silo. It was one of the highlights of the previous stream, not for the silo, but for what occurred during the building process of the silo. It's literally what the what the VOD ended up being named after. It was pretty great. Can we get some uh, some lamb emojis in chat, some or some sheep emojis, whatever it's called? Cult of the Lambda, never forget. All right, do we have any other supply crates lingering about? Lingering like lingonberries? I forgot we planted grass up there. It doesn't have its own island. Yes, it does. It's this island that we're standing on right now. Oh, I do see a sneaky sapling right there. You can, you might be like, this is not an island, it's connected to the mainland, and I would be like, well, isn't all of, isn't every piece of land an island if you expand your perspective big enough? Chat, does, do islands have, like, a maximum possible size before they're just not considered islands anymore? Or is it really just, like, a, just like a semantic term that's not, not that, th not, not that rigorously defined, I suppose? Is it connected? You see no proof. True, true. 58 tiles? That's so specific. Jeez. Somebody better tell Madagascar they're not an island anymore. All right, wheat flour, quality f retaining soil. We're good to go. A landmass surrounded on all sides with water. So that's everywhere. Every Everywhere is an island because eventually, on no matter what land you go on, no matter what direction you go in, eventually you're going to hit water. You're going to hit the ocean, right? That's just how uh, the world works. That is how the world works. That is how the world works. I hope you learned your lesson. I did and it hurt. That's how it works. All right, I think we're good. Is debris, is debris day officially done? I think we're good to go. Yeah. Not on Mercury? Okay. Anyone watching from Merc Mercury, you have my uh, 
You have my pass. You have my blessing. You are, you are not on an island. Everyone else is on an island right now. The Earth's core is not an island. Is anyone living in the Earth's core? Any, anyone watching from the Earth's core right now? I mean, I can name things that aren't islands, too. Like, a sandwich is not an island. But, like, that's not helpful, because no one lives on a sandwich. Imagine if you could, though. Imagine making a sandwich big enough to live on. Oh, baby. What if I jump? You got me. Stew has islands. <laughs> That's a chaotic take that I don't even know if I can endorse. Treehouse? You mean the uh, the children's television program from uh, or television channel from Canada? You're watching Treehouse. I never really watched Treehouse. I was a little uh, like by the time I was aware that Treehouse existed, I was I was too old for pretty much all the shows on there because it's like for made, made for like relatively young kids. But I do have distinct memories of uh, of like being up late one night and just like turning on the TV and and it it was on Treehouse for some reason, and I just watched like an episode of Ants in Your Pants, which is like a weird like. It's, it's it was a show with puppets. There was like a there was like a monkey puppet who's like the main character, and he had ants in his pants, I guess. I, hence the name of the show. I don't really know anything else about the show, but I do distinctly remember the puppet and being like that was weird. Anyway, and then I went to bed. It's a great it was a great memory. Do y'all prefer white or brown prawn crackers? What what on earth is a prawn cracker? I mean, I like uh, I like I like brown bread more than more than white bread. I like whole wheat. Anyone who prefers white bread, I do not understand you, but I respect your your right to bread preference. I don't know what the heck a prawn cracker even is. Prawn crackers are great. Did I miss the bus on on prawn crackers? <laughs> Every, everyone's in chat just like, OMG, prawn crackers. And I'm like, what? I know what prawns are and I know what crackers are. Is it a cracker that you put a prawn on? Is that is that literally it? Yo, see you in a bit, Zipporah. Like shrimp chips? That does not help. That makes things more confusing. <laughs> Am I being gaslit right now? Did everyone in chat just like make a little private group on the Discord and we're gonna and they're like, let's make up let's make up some things to confuse Argon in the next stream and you decided on prawn crackers? It's not a real thing. Sourdough tastes sour. It kinda tastes a little sour. But it's not as sour as, you know, like a gummy worm or something. There are crackers made of prawn. Now you're just making stuff up. Need to go back to mowing the lawn, but you don't want to. I can understand that. Maybe it's like an extremely hot day and you don't want to go out and mow the lawn. That said... I would say, even though I haven't done it in a very long time because I've not uh, lived in a place where I needed to mow the lawn in a very long time, I think mowing the lawn in the echelon of chores, of household chores, probably like A tier, maybe S tier for me. It's it's up there for sure. It's, it's a top tier chore. Just getting out there, getting the smell of the fresh cut grass, just getting into getting to enjoy it. I, I don't want to go out on a day that's too hot, but I don't want to go out on a day that's too cold, obviously, either. You like mowing the lawn in the rain, probably not uh, not a smart idea. But if you can hit that happy medium, maybe like 15 degrees Celsius, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Ooh, 
That's the sweet spot. Maybe a, a little tinge of a breeze, like a Chinook blowing over the Rocky Mountains. Fresh cut grass as you sit on your ride on mower, sipping on some pink lemonade. Chad, it doesn't get better than that. Your kids mow the lawn there? It's almost two acres. That's a lot of mo lawn to mow. I'm, th I'm thinking more just like a, a traditional backyard lawn. I've never actually mown much bigger than that. Yo, we got rid of one of the rocks in front of the, the shipping bin. That was lucky. You think it does get better than that? Incorrect. I'm sorry. Sorry to tell you, it doesn't. It it cannot get better than that. That's peak refreshment. Fifteen Celsius is fifty nine Fahrenheit for any Americans out there. I'll take your word for it. Did that rock just turn into a stick? Turns out the rock was a stick all along. It just didn't have the the wherewithal to show its true colors until now. Hey there, Rasa. You've seen a few people with lawn Roombas. It doesn't surprise me that that's a thing, but I've I've never actually heard of it or seen it. Like an automated lawnmower like that, it it kind of makes perfect sense, right? It's like the it's the natural conclusion of of Roombas. Like they've already dominated the inside. Why not? Uh, why not take to the outside as well? Trans rock rights. I'm with you. Any any rocks out here? If you're feeling, if you feel like you're truly a stick, don't be afraid. This is a safe space. You are you are welcome. You are welcome here. Can we get some uh, some trans pride flags in chat, please? Happy Pride Month, indeed. They're pretty common in Sweden. The the lawn Roombas. Are they called lawn Roombas, or are they called, like, Londas? Because, like, Roomba, it, 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 you know, it implies that there's a, uh, it implies that there's a room. Buh. But, like, outside is not a room. Outside is, is something else entirely. But, Argon, we hit the sticks with an axe. Only to bring them into our home, where we will cherish them forever. Like, look at all these sticks we've we brought into into our home, to to cherish and uh, and to improve our lifestyle around here with. Fuzzy ones are lawn bars. We're get, we're getting too close to the cult cult of the lambda again. It always comes back to Cult of the Lambda. Outside is not a room, but it is an island. Now you're getting it. Now we're, we're, I think we're all on the same page now. The literal translation from Swedish is just electric lawnmower. I mean, that can't be right. Like, aren't most lawnmowers electric? Well, I guess not. I guess lawnmowers are like gas powered, a lot of them, right? But, well, probably more nowadays are, are electric. Because, obviously, like, better for the environment. But, like, traditionally, lawnmowers have been gas powered. I support trans sticks, but not trans rocks. You're just putting words in my mouth now. If, if any sticks want to become, uh, want to become rocks out here. I mean, it'll 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 impede what I have to do out here, but I'm not going to stop you. I'm definitely not going to stop you. Be who you want to be. End of story. Unless who you want to be is like a murderer, in in which case, like probably don't do that. In fact, I would say I would go as far as to say like definitely don't do that. Definitely don't murder, please. Don't ca don't cause harm to like other people for any reason. Unless, like, they're into it. And it's it's consensual. We're going a little off the rails right now. <laughs> the 
This is a PG-13 stream, by the way. It's a PG-13. No, not consensual murder. Okay, like, you can't do that. Let's let, let's not even go there. Let's let's just dial it back. Hey, chat, what's your favorite, uh, pet? <laughs> what's your fa favorite fuzzy, fuzzy pet that you can have in your home? In your own private domicile? Cat? Alligator? Alligator's not fuzzy, but I didn't clarify fuzzy until after the fact, so... Yeah, but, like, honestly, moral of the story, like, you know, don't let anyone get you down. Be who you're gonna be. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Fuzzy cat, not fuzzy fish? What kind of fish are fuzzy? There's, like, lionfish, but they're not fuzzy. They're, like, prickly. They're, they're... Are, are lionfish the ones that are, like, super venomous? Or is that, like, zebra fish? Or are both of them, like, ultra, ultra venomous? Human? <laughs> hu human not a pet, confirmed, but I, re I respect your right to it. Hedgehogs? The automatic land mowers are really dangerous for them. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen a hedgehog in person, honestly. Yeti crabs are fuzzy. I, I kind of... I, I don't know what they actually look like in real life, but I'm just picturing a, a like, furry white crab. And, I, and I'm, I'm in love already. My imagination is doing all the heavy lifting there. Why exactly were we spamming sleep? Is it just to farm jades? No, jades are actually only a secondary thing. Up until recently, we were actually farming diamonds. But the reason we are sleeping is to get more star fruit. We need nine star fruit total, of which we have eight right now, to build a Junimo hut, which is how we will be able to get crops to complete our quality crops bundle without um, farming experience. Because we can't level up in farming. So we gotta get one more one more star fruit from the Luau, and then we are we're basically good to go, and we the the floodgates open at that point. No worries, uh Natan. Natan Santos. Sorry if I butchered the pronunciation. We're gonna run out of cherries. All get all great things must come to an end. I don't I don't want an unlimited supply of cherry wine like forever. Contrary to what you might believe. I want it to be uh to be a limited run. That said, we will get more cherries next year, so maybe it won't be a limited run, but just like a just like an annual run, you know. Still waiting for the PowerPoint explaining this goal's sub goals. I was I was gonna I still want to set up the puppet show to do that. I don't know if I want to go PowerPoint or if I want to go puppet show. Welcome in RSB, by the way. Welcome, good to see you, and have a good one there, uh, Cobalt Cryptid. Thanks for hanging out. Like, I have ideas for a puppet show. Part, like, I want to do... I have an idea for, like, uh... To do, like, you know, a previously on Dragon Ball Z kind of thing. But we'll do, like, a puppet show version. Like, previously on Randomized Perfection. And then we do a puppet show, like, recapping everything up until this point. That's kind of the idea I have in my head. I just have to, like, execute it properly. Right now, all I have is... I'll show you. This is... This is currently the standing of the puppet show. There she is. See, I can like, uh, I can like, I can like move her around, make her, make her dance around and stuff, but this, this is all I got. Oh wait, I do actually, I do have this as well. I do have a little... <laughs> Desert Obelisk is a little too big. I need to, I need to shrink that one down. <laughs> That's where we're at right now. No, it's perfect. <laughs> Puppet Beatrix is everything. I love it. It's, it's very easy to set up too. I just have to. I just have to get more puppets ready to go. <laughs> and then maybe we can start having more regular puppet shows. 
please keep the obelisk that size. I mean, it is it is true to life. That's a pretty big obelisk right there. And the obelisk in the game, it's... I don't know. I feel like it's bigger than the obelisk in the game, but it's, it's got to be close, right? Stop streaming and get back to work. I was about to put a cherry in Pi's bowl. I don't know if Pi would have appreciated that, honestly. A little cherry-flavored water. Hey, Sid, thank you for the $5 super chat. An idea for shorts, since videos can be a lot to edit, I can do my little recap slash updates through shorter videos. That's actually, like, a pretty solid idea, Sid. Thank you for that. Do little, little puppet shows in, in shorts form. I would still want to do them on stream as well, just because... I don't know, it sounds like fun, but <laughs> but it is an idea to do like little recaps to keep everyone up to speed. I'm with you. Me doing puppets reminds you of the TV Puppet Pals from the Super Friends segment of Dexter's Lab. A very specific reference, Salem, but I, uh, I appreciate specific references perhaps more than anybody else, even if I'm not personally privy to it. All right, end of fall coming up tomorrow. We gotta, we gotta restock on our hay supplies. We gotta do our whole hay thing where we we chop down the farm. So, we'll chop down all the grass on the farm. Chopping down the farm sounds a little more intense than I'm, than I'm up for right now. Snape, Snape. Say ever is Snape. Oh my gosh, the Potter Puppet Pals. That's that's from an internet age gone by. Holy moly. Alright. Everyone ready for a little hay harvesting? Hold on, I gotta get a bomb in order to make this happen. I need just just a single bomb. I don't have any cherry bombs on me, so this one's gonna have to do. And hopefully the animals don't mind too much. Stream's making you so happy. I'm glad to hear that, Jay. I'm glad that I can uh, bring some bring some happiness to your day in whatever small way. All right, let's head on into the barn. Head on into the Barnaby. I'll put this carefully. We'll do we'll do it like right right there. That should be fine. Bada boom. And then we take all of our hay out, like so. The hopper is empty. Build the silo. We only we didn't have that much that much hay left in that silo, or in all of our silos. Cause that that empties like both silos, right? I don't have to do anything fancy here in order to to get more. I just like zero. Okay, yeah, so we're good. Now we just start to uh, start chopping, chopping the days away. Stream makes you sad, so it evens out. Can we get some hearts for Pickle Doof? Get some hearts for Pickle Doof. I don't know if it actually makes you sad or if you're just memeing, but but it's all gonna be good. I definitely want to try expanding into into shorts content a little bit. I just haven't had any ideas. That is like a good idea to do like the recap stuff as shorts. Um, but I don't know what else I would do. Like, if I'm gonna do shorts, I wanna do, like, like, quality stuff. Not that, like, shorts from other people aren't quality. Like, I've watched a lot of shorts that are very high quality and good stuff. But I just, I don't know, I hold, I, I... If I wanna do shorts, I wanna have a reason for it beyond just the, like, the desire to do them, you know what I mean? You don't really watch shorts, so you don't make them. Fair enough. I mean, shorts are not for everybody. And just like all content online, like, not all shorts are created equal. So, your mileage may vary depending on what you find out there. You wear shorts? I'm wearing shorts right now, actually. Now that, now that you mention it. Alright. Little choppity-choppity. Look at all these sticks, dude. Oh my gosh. The sticks kind of went wild down here. Kind of wiling out. Okay, I should get this cockle as well. Well, I don't have inventory space for the cockle. You know what? It's fine. 
Hockle, you, you just live your best life out here. You're all good. I'm just like, I'm dodging animals right now. I don't wanna, I don't wanna accidentally pet an animal and have to like redo everything here. I'm a little scared. <laughs> maybe I maybe I shouldn't be scything down here. Although I guess doing it down here first in on the off chance that I do pet an animal by mistake is uh is probably smarter than saving it for the end. Shorts gang rise up. Shorts are definitely, like, taking over the internet, as, like, short-form content is, is more popular now than it ever has been. But I'm still, I'm still stuck in the past, or maybe I'm just of a different, uh, cut from a different cloth, in that I, I always prefer the long-form content. And when I'm talking long-form content, I'm talking, like, long-form content. Like, I like to just t t turn on a, like, five-hour Crimson Rogue video. And just just let it go while I do like my other stuff. It's it's so nice. It's so soothing to have that in the background and not have to worry about like constantly changing it. Yeah, like the longer the better, honestly. Which is why streams are pretty good to have on in the background. I don't have a lot of streamers that I watch on a regular basis. But when I do get the chance, I, I will put them on as well. 22-hour Habu stream rings a bell. It's actually, like, in my watch later is the 22-hour Habu video, like the Perfection Speedrun or whatever it is. That's what I'm saving for, uh, for the future. Everyone here likes my long-form content. All, all one of it. All, all one of the long form videos I put out. I got, I got to get more on that. That's for sure. I guess if you consider, you know, streams long form content, which I guess I, I suppose I probably would. I literally just said that, didn't I? So you really only watch stream content. Yeah, stream content is good, and like long form, like gameplay videos and stuff are always a fun time. But like. The real peak is that, like, highly edited long-form content, or at least, like, marginally edited long-form content, which obviously doesn't come, ar come around that often because it's a lot of work. But when it when those videos do come around, oh, baby, I drop everything. I do have long streams. I used to only stream, like, three hours. Now I'm doing, like, four to five hours at a time. Which does remind me, by the way, today I do have to, I have to work at like five o'clock, which is in four hours for me. So I'm not gonna be able to go like super long today. Just so we're all aware of that, I'm not gonna be able to go to like a five-hour stream or anything like that. I'll probably have to stop right around four hours to get stuff done before I go into work. But then we'll be back tomorrow, so don't worry about it. Gotta take breaks and stay stay hydrated. Very important too. Sad I didn't get your sub notification. Sorry, Carmen. Ah! Thank you, Carmen, <laughs> for becoming a member at the Electron level. Carmen DeKessel. I greatly appreciate the support. And uh, I'm sorry that I missed it for so long. I was probably talking about something something silly. I greatly appreciate it. You take care as well. Yeah, have a good night. I didn't do it out of malice, I swear. I did it out of incompetency. <laughs> Yo, and speak of the devil, Nightbot is, uh, is telling me to hydrate already. I'll take you up on that, Nightbot. Take you up on that. That's a great motto. What, just cl claiming incompetency? You can't get mad at me, I'm just stupid. <laughs> it's a great defense, you know what? 
How's the saying go? Don't tr don't get into an argument with a stupid person. They'll drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. Are the silos full? I believe the silos may be full. Let's go ahead and uh, and empty what we got right now. And go ahead and eat this oyster, I think. So that I just have an empty inventory slot to, to do this. What the heck? Are my are my farm animals teleporting inside? <laughs> Did anybody see that teleporting sheep? Bad for you to call yourself stupid. It's bad if you call yourself stupid and believe it. If you call yourself stupid in in, in a tongue and cheek way, I think uh, I think you're fine. As long as everyone's on the same page, that we know that we're we're not stupid. Just just don't believe it. It's easy. It's easy to you know. Easy to beat yourself up. You got to be careful there. You got you got to ride a ride a thin line. Argon's going crazy. What do you mean going? Say it enough and you'll believe it. Probably true in certain contexts, but if you're my if you're trying specifically to mine humor out of it, and you maintain a degree of separation and self awareness, I think you can I think you can get away with it. Probably not a good habit to get into. Don't get me wrong. Like there's 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 better jokes to be had than just being like lol I'm stupid. I think as a general rule, you probably should not do it, but at the same time, it can be funny if you place it in the exact right circumstance and use it just enough. Everything in moderation, you know? How did that cockle spawn so far inland? You got me. High tide? I don't know. We only see high tide in the at night or something, so we don't actually get to see it. Ooh, a little debris right there. Also got to keep yourself humble. You got to be careful with that one too cuz like it, it's a very, it's a fine line, right? It's a line that I've been trying to find for for a very long time myself is like you have to be kind to yourself and like give yourself praise and and kudos for a job well done and recognize your talents and be proud of them. But you also don't want to be like narcissistic or anything like that or or vain. So you got to be you got to be careful the extent that you give yourself the pride and you know finding that that equilibrium is a is no easy feat i would say it's very easy to tend too much one way or the other Too many people do not know the difference between competence and ego. I'm not confident that I know the difference between competence and ego. Or at least I don't trust myself to know the difference. I think intellectually I do, but... In my horde of horts, it always feels the same. What's the longest video I have ever fully watched? So like not like put on in the background, but like actually sat down and watched like from from front to back, start to end. I'm trying to think. Does it count if I watched a like a series, right? Like a like you know how people like put out like their their hundred days of Stardew videos, and then eventually they turn them into a like mega movie? Does that count? If I if I watched it uh, if I watched the original series and then and then I I can claim hey I've watched I've watched their mega movie their super long video does that count? 
The difference is the spelling. <laughs> She's not wrong. You think that counts? If that does count, I would say probably the longest thing I've watched in that form would be um, from Settled, the YouTuber Settled, his whole Swampletic series in, in Old School RuneScape. That is a fantastic series that I draw a lot of inspiration from personally. And I, uh, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed my time with that one. I've watched through the, uh, the actual, like, 12-hour upload that he did of the entire thing. I, I haven't, like, watch-watched it, but I've had it on in the background multiple times, and I've sat through it. It's, it's a great one. Highly recommend if you're into not only, like, RuneScape, but, like, just, like, challenge runs and stuff in general. I think you could find some, some good stuff there. Is there a... There's there's a lot of saplings here. Holy... Who let all these trees grow over here, dude? Somebody's got to, like... We should hire, like, a like a landscaper around here to... To tend to the land, you know, maybe, like, once a week. Maybe, like, every Monday or so. Okay. We are closing in on 1 a.m. Don't get me wrong, I see that. That said, do you see all these seeds? Holy moly. Okay, I gotta go in here. Deposit my my hay for right now. And we'll just make our way back up to the... Uh... Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh shoot, it's 1.10 a.m. It's okay, we can do this, we can do this. Don't, don't pet the animals for the love of all that is good. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We'll be fine. We're still going to make it. I'm not even slightly concerned. Sell the quality retaining soil. Go deposit all my goodies. And we're off to bed. Pie right there waiting for us. Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. And now, no one can get upset at me this time for, like, being like, Argon, you didn't stay out late enough farming hay. Bro, it was literally 1.50 a.m. It was, like, 1.57 a.m. when I went to, <laughs> when Beatrix went to bed there. I was, uh, it, it doesn't get closer than that. That's what they call the skin of your teeth. Alright, I should go put the hay into the silo, or put what hay I can into the silo, because I didn't have time to do that at the end. Did I grab the apples and the other fruit? From where? There wouldn't there wouldn't have been oh I guess apples from the uh from the fruit tree. <laughs> the pomegranate would be the other fruit, I believe, that you're that you're thinking of. I did not. I haven't been paying too much attention to to the fruit trees, barring the cherries, you know? Alright, we got five hundred and forty five plus four hundred and eighty. We we should be good for a little while here. We'll check, in, we'll check in with the animals, like, you know, every every 10 days or so. We have enough animals now that it's probably worth checking in. But otherwise... Happy winter, Pi. Let's, look, let's head on through. Close the barn door. It is going to get cold, you know what? You're not wrong. But I'm so it's so far away now. They'll be fine. They'll be fine for another ten days or so. <laughs> They've made it through before. There's a heater in there, chat. There's a heater in there. You don't have to. We don't have to worry about them. They'll be a okay. Don't you worry about it. Also, quick paranoia check. I haven't sold anything yet. I mean, the paranoia check should really be it. Should really be this. Check this screen. One out of four obelisks. Still zero friends. This poor dwarf. Or Dwarf getting zero recognition on that front. We know in our heart of hearts, our homie is our homie. My electricity bill is going to be so high. Joke's on you. Those are gas-powered heaters. But not like bad gas. Not, not gas that's bad for the environment. It's the good kind of gas. You haven't heard of it? Are we still calling Gus, or did we stop that? We stopped that once I realized that I already have 
three pepper poppers for plus two farming buffs in my fridge. And we're just gonna hope that that is good enough for our purposes. I don't I don't need to linger about it. I'm just realizing I don't, I don't have to wait for the uh, animals to head outside and eat. Fueled by cow methane? No, no, that's a bad one, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm sure, pretty sure methane is is not not good for the environment. <laughs> Confirmed. Do cows fart in the heaters? What kind of conversation <laughs> have we fallen into here? It is the natural conclusion, I suppose. I mean, chat, if you really want the truth, the heaters, they're not electric. They're not gas-powered. What are they powered by? I mean, I don't want to go there, but you you did you do know there's a cult in that barn, right? There's this dude named... There's the one named Lambda in there. Started a cult. And uh, you can probably put two and two together. Exactly, it's love. <laughs> yeah, you guys got it. You got it. It's love. It's powered by love. Exactly. Perfect. You, you figured it out. Hamster wheels. Chat, if something is powered by a hamster wheel, is that powered by electricity? Do, is, is the hamster producing electricity or is the hamster just like hamstering? It's just hamster juice. Is watching a stream a bad idea during work? It depends on what your job is, to be perfectly honest with you. There there are definitely jobs where you could probably justify watching a stream or at least listening to a stream on the side. But if you're currently, like, you know, piloting an aircraft, maybe not. I, I Maybe if it's an autopilot. Depends what the wheel is hooked up to. What the heck do people do before power? They just like they just like walked around with like candles and stuff. Can't even imagine. They just like went around in the dark with candles and like talked to other people and like read like books and stuff. Do you imagine? <laughs> what a crazy world to live in. Went to sleep with the sun, I guess. Oh my gosh, could you imagine if you had to go to sleep with the sun? Couldn't stay up past sunset? That would be horrible. Now we can just stay up until like 3 a.m. every day that we want to. Ooga Booga Roots of Pacha. I should definitely check out Roots of Pacha at some point. Chat, is Roots of Pacha, is it like, does it stay forever in prehistoric times? Or is it like you progress like somewhat to like industrialization? Or is it all is it always like like prehistoric and they just like go as hard as possible into that aesthetic? I feel like they're doing themselves a disservice if they if they don't stay in the prehistoric timeline. I feel like there's there's a lot of a lot of fun to be mined out of there, and I don't want to be you know like just I can go play Civilization if I want to instead if I want to get that industrial revolution and the Iron Age and the Bronze Age and all that. I ain't about that. Let me just go and and farm my or my wild carrots or whatever. Stays in Stone Age times for now. Good to know. Is it like Stone Age fantasy or is it just Stone Age? Like, is there are there like are there like Junimos or Junimo adjacent concepts, or is it uh, is it relatively grounded? I really just came out to to check on the hay supplies. I don't know how I got caught so caught up in these 
in these tree saplings. Although there are there are a lot of, of seeds. The seeds spread so fast in winter. It's just unbelievable. Little smidgen of magic. That's how I like my magic. That's that's the niche I find myself occupying more often than not, is in far insofar as uh like fantasy worlds and stuff. I like worlds of moderate fantasy. Just a splash of magic among the mundane is is way more interesting to me personally than either like completely mundane or completely magical, like super high fantasy. There's a time and a place for both of those as well. For like just, you know, regular you know, slice of life stuff as well as uh, like full on Lord of the Rings-esque high fantasy crazy world building. But my bread and butter is right in between. Every single time. Oh my gosh. I, I can't tell if my, my barn animals heavily agree or disagree. That was a... Whatever it was, it was a consensus. It was a consensus opinion. Did you hear them all just go at the same time like that? I'm gonna eat some of these seeds. I will leave that one. You're safe. Babelhaven is a good mix of those. Never heard of it, but I will uh, put it on the to-read list. 498 Iridium Large Milks. Yep. <laughs> you got it, I assume, anyway. I didn't I didn't actually look myself, but... No one can say our animals aren't happy. That, that those, those animals are extremely well taken care of. Hence, half a stack of, of large Iridium Milk. Well, not Iridium Milk, I guess. That's, that's a different thing, but... Iridium Quality Milk. Yeah, we're still sleeping for starfruit still. Well, we're doing debris a little bit on the side here. Basically, whenever I head out to to refill the silo or what have you, which is going to be probably like three times in the winter here. But I think we're pretty well taken care of right now. Ooh, a chicken statue. I like a chicken statue. I, res I respect a chicken statue, I would dare say. Hold on, I see a little bit more up here for for nonsense Ooh, secret hidden supply crate super secret hidden supply crate oh my gosh I didn't I'm amazed that my eyes even got drawn up there to be honest with you there were two supply crates hidden behind that desert obelisk you su you sussy obelisk you I'm using the word sussy too much I should probably probably stop that it's getting a little sus Sassy. There we go. Let's bring Sassy back. I kind of want to do... I kind of I kind of like my chicken statue. But table gold? I mean, table gold has been here so long, I can't possibly besmirch it. We had a chicken statue on our table in... on Frugal Farm, I think. I think, uh... We can leave that in Frugal Farm. That can be its thing. Bomb the trees behind the obelisk. There aren't any rocks nearby. There's one rock nearby. Or are you, are you talking about these these two trees right here? I guess I could hit those trees with a cherry bomb. I think I could def I I'm like if I put a cherry bomb right here, I could definitely do that and not hit any rocks. But this rock right here, these rocks here, they they put things in jeopardy beyond that. So but you're not wrong. Maybe it's good if the golden clock is our next goal, just so the debris can stop. I've thought about that. I've thought about, would it be worth the the grind for the money in order to just stop debris forever? Alright, I think we're good, right? Ooh, 650 from a single chicken statue. Don't, don't pay, don't think any more about it than that.
Just realized we need forage goods for some cooking recipes. True. Cross that bridge when we come to it. By that point, we'll, we'll probably have, you know, a foraging level or two, ideally, right? Right? All about that optimism. Am I going to start doing unique thumbnails for every randomized stream or no? Probably not, because, like I said, like I've said, I want to do a, like, edited condensed version of a, like, like a little episodic series that I've been working on for, for the randomizer series, and I think I'll save the, the custom thumbnails and all the, the razzle-dazzle bells and whistles for that. Put all my energy there rather than, uh, not that take, like, making thumbnails takes a lot of energy, but it doesn't take, like, none energy. Takes some time and takes some effort to, to put one together. Ooh, I saw the, the cherry wine ready to go. Night market. Appreciate the uh, the thought, but no end thank you. Haley wants to make the thumbnail, what'd she say? I have to remember to bring my camera next time. Haley always forgetting her camera. Every single time she forgets the camera. I'm starting to wonder if she even has a camera. We could pick up some, our seeds and some nice decorations, though. Yeah, but that involves waiting until, like, 5 p.m. every day to hit up the night market in order to make that happen. And call me impatient. I mean, I'm, I'm patient most of the time, but in this case, I want to get this Junimo hut, dude. I'm so excited. I, I am beyond excited. I'm, I'm excited. That's how you know it's serious, when I start making up words. Do we know who we're marrying on this uh, farm already? We do not. That will be determined by the randomizer in large part. So basically, it won't tell me to marry anybody, but it will tell me to get the marriage star drop eventually. And uh, depending on who we befriended at that point, that will basically give us our options for, for who we have to marry. Speaking of who we have to marry, our secret friend this year is Sam. Well, how about that? Sam, I, I could give him a Joja Cola, but he's one of the weirdos who likes that stuff. More soggy newspapers for you. I got soggy. I got I got gifts for the Winter Star for uh, like literal decades. If I just keep going with soggy newspapers. We can get winter winter plants using winter forge in a seed maker, grow in a pot plant and trade in for other seasons, wild season wild seeds at the desert trader and grow those too. My thoughts exactly, Reese. My thoughts exactly. That should actually work, yeah, because we don't get experience from uh growing forgeables in garden pots. I believe that is the case. Give him a broken C D from his album. I don't even know who this Sam guy is. Is he a musician or something? That's what Beatrix is saying to herself. She's like, Sam. Sam. She's like, is that a... N number one, she's like, is that a boy or a girl? It's, a, it's an androgynous name, right? She has no clue. I don't think, I don't think we've ever met Sam, have we? We have met Sam. Okay, we've met Sam. Disregard, she knows Sam. When did we meet Sam? For what purpose did we meet Sam? He probably gave us something at the Feast of the Winter Star one year. That'd be the only way. Welcome on in, casual gamer. Good to see you. Non-binary Sam, also an option for sure. 
Although I guess we, yeah, we can't craft the, we can't craft winter the forge seeds. I don't know. We'll figure out the forge when push comes to shove. I'm just gonna hope you know the cards fall in the right order. I'm gonna put my faith in the randomizer for that one. It's worked out pretty well for me so far to put my faith in the randomizer, as you can tell. Exclamation point year, exclamation point playtime. Maybe she learned about him as she passed his house and dug through his trash. It's probably the best way to learn about anybody, to be honest. Anyone else dig through their neighbor's trash or just me? PSA, don't do that. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Is this a... Oh, that's a seed. I couldn't tell if it was an actual, like, full-on sapling or just some, or something else there. It was weird. You have not missed the Junimo hut yet, Beth. We are currently in the winter preceding our Junimo hut. The final winter before Junimo hut fortune. Winter tends to be our longest season, I find, a lot of the time. Just because we ha we do have to, like, maintain the hay supplies. We have to clear out a lot of seeds. We'll have to plant a bunch of grass starters at the end of the season. There's a there's a lot to tend to in winter. But once we get past winter, we'll, we'll still have to do some stuff. Don't get me wrong about it. But we'll hopefully be able to, to speedrun things a little bit better. Oops, I almost just deleted all my hay. <laughs> All right, chicken statue, you can hang out in there for a second. Perfect. It's illegal unless it's put out on the street and no longer their property. It's a valid point. I guess if it's on the street, it is officially public property. Public garbage. Then you can... You can eat all their leftover nachos out there to your heart's content. Although, let's be real, who's throwing out nachos? It's nacho business. Don't need to craft wild seeds. Just put them in a seed. Ma put them in a seed maker. Also true. I could I could do that. We do have a seed maker. We got one from Skull Cavern, and then we just have to like sacrifice a little bit of foraging experience, get like the first wild horseradish or whatever, and get spring seeds and stuff. I don't know. There's that's that seems that seems to make sense. That tracks in my brain. But again, I'm I have I have faith. I have confidence that it's good. It's good to have that strategy in our back pocket if we need it. But hopefully, we're just not going to need it. You know what I do need though? A little more little more bee emojis in my life. Can we get some bee emojis for the best song? Or one of the best songs in the uh in the entire game? Well in the entire playlist. B underscore boss dot OGG doesn't last very long. You gotta get in here while you can. Just seed maker winter roots and then trade it. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Um, speaking of winter roots, I, I guess I store you and sell this stuff here. Okay. Holy, look at the bees. Look at the bees in chat. I've never seen so many bees. Yeah, yeah, then we traded the desert trader. You got it. The bees, the bees, not the bees. But yes, the bees, actually. Yes, the bees, it turns out. Can you put a dandelion from the flower dance in the seed maker to get spring seeds? I don't believe so. Because I think the only spring forage that goes into a seed maker is a uh, wild horseradish. I don't think that every type of forage can go into a seed maker. I think it's like one specific type from each, uh, from each season. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe that's how it works. Please, the bees. <laughs> Does that put the whole crafts room in our reach? 
if we put our mind to it, we could complete every single bundle at the community center except for one, the specialty fish bundle, because we cannot physically get a wood skip in any way. But yes, I, I'm pretty sure with our current means, everything else would be possible. But the fact that that one bundle isn't possible means like, you know, and, no, and none of the other rewards other than the quality crops and the uh, other ones we've already gotten are that important. It makes it, it's like, what's the point, right? We should just bite the bullet, go to Joja like we know we're going to have to anyway. Let's not lead the Junimos on. Let's, ugh, sorry, let's not lead the Junimos on too much here. We're going to have to betray them at the end of the day. We'll pay them off a little bit by buying one of their huts, and then uh, <laughs> and then we'll pivot to Joja. Wild horseradish, spice berry, common mushroom, and winter root. That sounds correct to me, Wickety. Thank you. Thank you for the intel. All right. All right, happy winter star, everybody. <gasps> oh! I didn't even know that could happen. We got it. We got hoodie. Tell me the hoodies. Tell me hoodie. Hoodie the fourth. Are you wearing a Santa hat? Please. It's a it's a winter star miracle. Hold on. I, I priorities. We got to get our soggy newspaper for Sam, obviously. Hoodie the fourth as a as a present from Santa. I can't believe it. All right, well, let's go do our uh, our clearing here. We'll clear some seeds while we wait for the festival to even open. And we'll see if we can spot Hootie around here. Chat, yell at me if I don't see Hootie. Hootie should be very visible in the winter because there's not as many, not as much foliage to, to hide his presence. Can you put hats on Hooties? That would be great. Well, that's... Look at that. Hootie the fourth right there. Clearly wants to join the party right here. There you go. <laughs> it's like a, it's like the chicken has like a bodyguard of hooties. I love it. Perfect. There he is. Hootie the first, third, and fourth are on are on chicken watch duty, and Hootie the second down here watching over our uh, our mahogany's. Wouldn't have it any other way. Chicken prison? Nah, the chicken's in charge. Sounds like a movie. Chicken in charge? Or Chicken Run? Chat, why does Chicken Run? Like, I know it's a real movie, but it has the energy of a movie that I made up in my head when I was five years old. Like, it feels like it shouldn't exist as an actual movie, but it does exist as a movie. And I'm like, it, like it's it's hard for me to reconcile that in my brain. I'm like, Chicken Run, it doesn't feel like a real movie, but even though I know it is. You know what I mean? It's just got that kind of, like, ephemeral energy. The Cult of the Chicken. We've got too many cults going on our farm. And Beatrix is not privy to any of them. It was a new movie in the early 2000s. Yeah, it was, I, I saw it during my like formative years of childhood. I don't really remember much about it other than that there's, there's chickens. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they run a little bit. There's, there's a chicken running right now. Running straight into my inventory. Dude, I, I'm so bad. Alright, hold on. We got we got a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, I'll, I'll come back to, to collect all that. So let me go ahead and chop a few more seeds here. Chicken is the head of a spy group, like I said. The cop duo is just a front to keep their more serious business under wings. The lore is growing more powerful by the day. How about Stuart Little? I definitely have seen Stuart Little in the past, but it's, it's it is also one of those ones that's just like a it's like a fever dream of a movie in my brain. 
That and uh, Chicken Little. Stuart Little and Chicken Little. Spoilers for Chicken Little. Why did the sky actually have to be falling, though? Like, I feel like they could have made a better storyline if the sky wasn't really falling and it was a, a message about something else. Because, like, it became, like, a weird... It, like, I, I remember really liking, like, the first half of Chicken Little. And then, like, the second half, where, or, like, this, like towards the end, where, like, it becomes about, like, an alien invasion or whatever. Because, like, it's, like, a piece fell off of a spaceship that was disguised as the sky. And, like, and that was, that was the whole explanation for why the sky was falling. And then it's, like, all about these aliens all of a sudden. And I'm like, what the heck is... He, what, I'm, I was watching a, a, a very cute, wholesome movie... About a chicken father and his chicken son and their uh, and their fa and their great family dynamic, and now all of a sudden I'm watching like blobby aliens banter meaninglessly amongst each other. That's all I remember about Chicken Little is being upset by the revelation of the aliens. All right, we should probably head to the festival, huh? Sell the prehistoric rib. I will, I guess, hold on to this uh, this farm warp totem. Have a good one there, casual gamer. Thanks for hanging out. You saw all these as an adult with very young children. You feel old. Don't worry about it. That's just you know, we'll we'll all have we'll all be able to to empathize with that at a certain point, Lisa. <laughs> Pam, what the heck are you doing here? No one's going to the, to the desert on Christmas Day. Unless you're here to bring Sandy to the Feast of the Winter Star. That I can get behind. Alright. Hello, Samson. Give Sam his secret gift. Mm, do you think I, do you think you'd like an ancient doll? Or maybe a little clay? Nah, it's gotta be the soggy newspaper, dude. Ah, a soggy newspaper. Thanks. Uh, you, you can use it to replace the, the canvas of your drum. I'm sure that'd work out fine. And, uh oh, <laughs> oh no! Do you think he saw me give his son a soggy newspaper? <laughs> oh no! I've got a bad feeling about this one, chat. I feel like I feel a passive-aggressive gift coming along. Hey, Beatrix, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. What's he got for me? <laughs> Another pink cake? We got one one of these from uh from Sebastian last year. Did you get them from the same store? bomb gift. <laughs> Could you imagine? Nah, just another pink cake. I don't know how to feel about that one. I think I'm just gonna sell this pink cake. So far I've gotten alcohol, rocks, and cake. Sounds like an average day in Pelican Town to me. Alright, sell my cake. Sell the ancient doll. Keep the rest. Regifted fruit cake again. They just can't. They just. No one likes that fruit cake. I guess. All right. Hundred and thirty jades. Also, a hundred and four days of summer vacation, and school comes along just to end it. Yo, six hundred and ninety from that chicken statue. Holy moly, that's crazy. All right, couple more days here, and then we're gonna have to go buy our grass starters and uh, and prepare for a productive spring. So for spring, let's think about this. Like, I should buy. Well, actually, I guess it doesn't matter if I buy the spring seeds this year, right? Because I'm not gonna be able to like grow and plant any of them this year, so there's no point in having spring seeds. Um. Sorry, I got caught up in the... I got lost in the sauce there and started doing things before I needed to. There's no point in having the spring seeds early. Because, like, I'm not going to be able to do anything with them until next year. Because I won't have the Junimo Hut until summer. If 
buy flower seeds from Pierre in case your next goal is to craft a flower tub. Okay, you got me there. You got me there. And I guess if I'm buying the flower seeds, I might as well just buy, like, all the seeds. So why don't we do this? Why don't we set up... Because I have some chests. I still have some chests over here, over yonder. Let's take these out. These will be my, my little seedling chests. You can be... You can be seeds one, and you can be seeds two, in case I need multiples. And then we'll have the seeds ready to go for the future. So I know I have some seeds actually already. So why don't we get them set aside here? Ancient seeds are one. And strawberry seeds are two. I don't think I had bought any other seeds. I made sure to buy strawberry seeds ahead of time just on the off chance, you know, ship a strawberry came up. Pick up the garlic, wheat, and melon seeds for Ginger Island. I think I'm just going to buy, like, every seed. I'm just going to buy some of every seed. I, we've got the money to spend, to, to burn. Why not just have, like, a bunch of, like, every seed? In fact, sell all but four diamonds. Let's just get the all the money we can right now. We're going to we're gonna also sell some grass, or not some grass starters, but we're going to sell some animal produce when we go to buy our grass starters. Uh, sell the diamonds. Gonna be a great start to a new year, I'll tell you that. Let's go ahead and deposit some of the stuff we don't need right now. Keep the axe to get rid of seeds. Um, just get rid of all this for right now. Gonna go chop up some seeds. The final few remaining fledgling seeds of winter. Are about to be eaten. Then I'll pick up some animal produce. We'll go get our grass starters. How many did we get last year? It was like 500. And that seemed... 500 seems to be a pretty good amount in order to actually stave off the debris effectively. But I think we just invest in another 500 this year. Are diamonds a shipping goal? They are not. They're part of the uh, mineral collection. Not part of shipping. Alright, we got a lot of a lot of milk. 532. Not quite the you know, it's alright. It's alright. That's a decent amount of milk. Large goat milk, iridium. Grab these. You know, maybe 152 iridium quality wool. Yeah, I guess we'll take like 200 silver quality. And 77 silver quality there. And let's go grab some eggs as well. These stones are kind of spooking me, I'm not going to lie to you. Alright. That void chicken. <laughs> this void chi there's a void egg under the void chicken. She's protecting it with at all costs. She is, she's nurturing it so well. Oh, never mind. Alright, um... What else we got here? We got a decent supply of iridium quality large eggs. Iridium quality large eggs. Iridium quality void eggs. Why not? That works for me. How did I get two void chickens? I put two void eggs in the incubator. I wanted I wanted two void chickens, so I picked up a second a second void egg. All right, we're currently at two hundred and fifty six thousand dollars. How much do you think we're gonna have once we sell all this? I'm gonna say I'm just eyeballing it. I don't know. This feels like. Feels like a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know if I have a good estimate, honestly. Once the numbers get this large, it starts to feel a little... <laughs> a little impossible. You think we're going to have 400k? I'm just going to bite the bowl. Let's just do it. We have a little more than 400k. <laughs> we, have, we almost have a million dollars. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. One mil is a goal, isn't it? 
I mean, we've, we've already made more than a million in total earnings for our Desert Obelisk alone. That was a big one. All right, uh, let's invest in some grass starters, at least two, like Wickedy said. I, I'm feeling maybe two times like 250. Seems all right to me. We're pretty, we're pretty well set up for our next obelisk goal. You're not wrong. Even if it's the the island obelisk, we're we basically have enough money to to make it happen now. Yo, thank you, Miss Palindrome. You got a list of the of the spring crops. Like I said, I'm probably just gonna buy seeds for everything, but it will be good to know which ones I actually technically need. All right, I'm planting. I'm planting all the grass. Just plant it all wither and thither, all helter and skelter. I gotta protect some of it with my stone cairns. Let's not forget about that. Let me go ahead and pick them up. I'm glad I can pick up the stone cairns with an axe rather than solely with a pickaxe. Works for me like that. Don't forget in front of the coop and barn doors. That's where I'm starting. I'm start. I'm starting down here. All right. I also want to try and protect this middle section as best I can. Let's like just like surround this rock on all sides. You will not spread. Go ahead and pick this up and pick this up. Do a little something like this, maybe a little something like that. Seems like just yesterday was winter one. I'm with you. Oh, how the time flies when you're having fun. Looks like you'll need an upgraded axe to destroy this gnarled old log. Hey, thanks. Where have I heard that one before? Rock containment procedures. We're very serious about our rock containment around here. We take SCP level protections against uh, against rocks spreading. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and secure this area as best I can. This is where all the rock. This is like the rock spawning ground. This is their home turf. It's where all the big rocks are. We got to make sure to to show them who's boss. Also plant. Let's. I feel like this is an easy area to miss, like right, like behind the barn there. So let's go ahead and make sure we get that. We'll go like down the middle here. We'll just do start doing like lines, just lines of grass all over the place. Just do like columns. All right. Get some of these seeds out of the way. Now you seed me. Now you don't. Would it be worth getting the summer and fall crop bundles since we're going to grow crops anyway for the sprinkler and the bee house or nah? I don't think so. The bee house, like, I can just buy honey from Sandy. And, uh, and the sprinkler, I can buy ir iridium sprinklers from Krobus anyway. So I feel like those kind of defeat the purpose of going for those bundles. I do like where your head's at, thinking of other possible bundle rewards. But I feel like, based on my research, we pretty much don't need anything else from the bundles. By the way, chat, let me remind you, all of this that we're doing, the Junimo huts, to sleep into year seven, all this nonsense, even like planting this grass right now as just a byproduct of this, it's all not even in service of our goal. It's literally in service of the potential that we'll need a preserves jar before we get to craft one, which we've, we very well might not. We might get to just craft our own preserves jar and all of this will have been for naught. So let's just let that sink in for a minute. And then, and then just enjoy. Enjoy the fact that we're going to have a Junimo hut on our farm to begin with per, in the very, very near future. Are there any pre preventative measures besides grass we can take to make sure we have a, an ample area for the Junimo hut? Um, I don't think so. 
Like, I would say we could put, like, flooring or fences down, but we all know kind of kind of where we stand on that. I do think, when it comes to the Junimo hut, I'm probably going to be doing it in... Hold on, I'm going to plant a little more grass over here as well. I'm probably going to be doing it in this general area right here. I think it makes the most sense. It's the most, it's, it's got the most open space. I can get rid of, like, this one rock if I want. Just for a little, just, like, one mining experience. Not the end of the world. We'll be fine. And to make it, to make sure that it's a relatively clear spot that has very little chance for debris to actually spread, I think would be a very good thing. Sprinklers won't work on the sand. That's right. We're gonna we're we're manual we're manually watering. Cause like I mean the other if we wanted to go with sprinklers we there's only one option obviously it would be down here. In this vicinity, which would involve I mean there's not that many rocks here. I guess we could do it here. We could clear out these rocks for, like, a, de a, a decent chunk of mining experience, clear out the trees. Maybe this is good? I don't know. Do you guys, do you guys think that's the better option to do it in the, in the sprinkler area, or should we do it in a more open, sandy area down there? I could see potential both ways. How many crops do I plan on growing? That's the other question, right? <laughs> How many crops am I going to grow? What's the the, radi the radius? I looked this up before the stream. The radius on a Junimo hut is like eight tiles in both directions, something like that. I'll, I'll wiki that before I actually commit to anything, probably. It's like a 17 by 17 area. Which is like six tiles in each direction plus plus the door of the Junimo hut. Like it, it's like centered on the actual door of the Junimo hut itself. So there's a decent decently sized chunk of land that they'll cover. Then we'll have to worry about scarecrow placement as well. But I mean we can place scarecrows on the outskirts of that uh, of that land and be relatively okay, I think. Seventeen by seventeen, yeah. All right, confirmed by Wickedy. Thank you. Can a hut even finish farming the whole radius? That's another question. I know Junimos are kind of slow, right? <laughs> like, no offense to the Junimos. I like their lackadaisical approach most of the time. They they're just like vibing out. They're pretty cool with it. But time is of the essence here. We're all very excited to eventually get to Ginger Island. And you can't have the Junimos just, like, lollygagging about. They push it on the radius. Might want, might not want to do the max amount. Okay. That is good intel. That is, that is highly appreciated intel. We don't need to do the max radius, for sure. We'll still be able to fit, like, a lot of crops, even in, like, a... Uh, like a 7x7 like a seven seven or 6x6 six six area. Or not like not not well not six by like you know what I mean like six tiles in each direction or whatever. It's like twelve by twelve, fourteen by fourteen kind of thing. Plant some star fruit so I can make a second one. I'm gonna have hard enough time putting in the finding a footprint for the first one. Where where the heck am I gonna put two Junimo huts? That said, it's probably a good idea to at least buy some star fruit seeds and invest in that. Okay. Good enough. Good enough for me. Sell this mussel, sell this wheat flour. Keep the seaweed. And let's go ahead and uh, take care of things. A lot of space by your barn. Yeah, that's the that's the area we're looking at. It's like between the barn and the coop. It is probably my preferred area for the Junimo hut right now. Okay. 
Let me just make sure I've got all my things in order here. And let's head off to bed. Can we get some party poppers and fireworks in chat, please? Only get to do it once a year, and this is our time. Happy New Year, everybody. Let's begin, let's begin a new, fresh year. What do we got? Oh, we got money. We got things sold as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, just a little cheeky 132,280 gold at the start of our new year. No big deal. Incoming year seven. Day one of spring, year seven. All right. Let me go over to Nightbot real quick. Nightbot.tv. Hop on over here. Exclamation point year is now year seven. And hopefully that one will stay like that for the uh, for the near future here. All right, we have made it to year seven. This is the year we've all been waiting for, chat. This is the one. The Junimo Hut is coming. What happened to my music? It got all dramatic because the music just like stopped, <laughs> like all on its own. All right. Um. So, what are we doing at the start of the year here? Well, let's go out and let's go out and see how our debris situation is. We'll have to do a little bit of debris clearing at the start here. I want to go plant an ancient seed, right? Or does it does it matter? I guess it doesn't matter. Well, I should probably plant it right now. Just like get it out of the way. Bite the bullet. Or I plant it at the start of summer with everything else once I get all like the, the area set up set up. What's special about year seven? It is the year of the final star fruit that we need for the Junimo hut. Well, we're gonna get our ninth star fruit this year. Let's go have a look here. If I were to put the Junimo hut what if I put the Junimo Hut, like, right here? Like, right near this stump? And then we have the crops all around it. Because if I'm planning on, like, planting my, my ancient fruit today, then I should I need to figure out exactly where this is going to go, or at least roughly where it's going to go, so that we're all set up. You can post the list whenever for spring speed sees, but don't want to spam. It will, will it even fit in like a single chat message? <laughs> it does. Okay. Once I head over to Pierre's for today, to to get ready to buy all the spring seeds, then I'll I'll hit you up for the list. Thank you again for that. First, let's go ahead and just clear what debris I can. Chat, why am I nervous? Why am I so nervous? Now that we're in year seven, why does this feel so real? Like, we're still, like, even, like, a little ways away from even getting the Juno mod itself. But it feels, like, so real now, you know what I mean? Like, up until this point, I've been thinking, like, oh, I can't wait to have this Junimo Hut. The Junimo Hut's gonna be so cool, and I, like, intellectually knew, like, eventually we would have a Junimo Hut. But now that it's, like, on my doorstep, it doesn't, it feels like, I don't know, it feels, it feels like I'm, like, I'm making history right now. Not to be bombastic about it or dramatic, but it's, it's I don't know, it feels, uh, it feels pivotal. The plan was theoretical up until this point. It, I mean, it wasn't theoretical. We've been buying star fruit. That's part of the plan. That's very tangible evidence of the plan unfurling. But but the actual construction part, the actual important part, I suppose, has always been theoretical up until now. Mm. 
Okay. I think we're pretty much good for debris. I might hit up uh, Cinder Sap Forest and Pelican Town a little bit to clear out those debris situations. But for now, I'm too excited. So let's go ahead and go over. We'll pop over to Pierre's real quick, buy the spring seeds we might need for the future. And uh, or that we will need for the future in all likelihood, and go from there. We're not going to plant any today. We're not going to plant any spring seeds. The only seed we may plant today is the ancient seed. And then I, I will have to water the ancient seed every day. I just thought about that. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, we'll just we'll we'll make the most of it. All right, Miss Palindrome, you said you have a list of spring seeds that I need to purchase. Shoot, my inventory is too full. I need to go, but... <laughs> my inventory is very full. Alright, scratch this, reverse it. We're, we'll come back in a second. Be careful with the ancient seed. If something happens before it produces, I'll softlock myself. That's true, because I wouldn't be able to craft any more ancient seeds or, or anything like that. That's actually a, a very good point. Not until I get a... Uh, like, if I, if I get ship an ancient fruit before I get craft an ancient seed, then I have the potential to softlock myself for sure. Yeah. Let's just, let's just clear out the inventory. Just clear out everything that we do not need. Star shards, I feel bad leaving you behind, but we're gonna, we're gonna make the most of this trip. That's how you know I'm serious about it. Oh, I guess you can get ancient seeds from seed makers. There's always that very, very slim chance. That's true. I could buy a sprinkler from Krobus. Yeah, but if I'm planting it in the area that I think I'm planting it in. All right, where are we? Are we going to do... We should figure this out. Are we... Where am I going to plant the uh, the, the Junibo hut? Are we going to do it in a sprinkler area? Or are we going to do it in the non-sprinkler area? We know the areas. Let's put up a poll. All right. Where should the Junimo hut go? sprinkler area full which is full of like debris and logs and stuff so it would be a little smaller as far as like actual real estate but we could use it or beach area which we would have to water manually but it does have a lot more space map it out first i ain't, I ain't got time for that i ain't about that life we're winging it Pull up a screenshot so we can see the option better. That I can do. That I can do. Open destination. Fractured farm. Let's see. So, here are our options. Here is, here's what we're voting for right now. Sprinkler area would be this area here. So I would have to clear out... I would basically... I would want to clear out everything out of here, including the stones. So I'd have to eat up some mining experience to do that. Um, I can't clear out the logs because I don't have an axe powerful enough to do so. But then I could, I could clear out all the trees. I could clear out... I could clear out everything I need to. At the cost of some mining experience versus... Hello. Um, versus this area here, which would be... I would have to clear out like a couple little things, like maybe this stone, and then we'd have a wa nice wide open area right in the middle here, but I would have to water it manually. The patch of dirt has a bunch of stones, will I break them? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I would have to. If, if I want to make this area worthwhile, I'm going to have to break those stones. It's, it is more experience to clear the sprinkler area. Is the question of is it worth it or not? Junimo should be able to harvest more than what's available in the sprinkler area, so I'd be limiting harvests. I see what you mean. Yeah, I mean this is uh, this is not a, not a big enough. This I mean Jun Junimos could harvest a bigger area. Choice about convenience versus space. Buy retaining soil. 
It's safer if I'm willing to water. I can always move the Junimo Hut. We're at literally like a 50-50 as far as the pole goes as well. The sprinkler area versus the, the beach area here. In moments like this, these, these are the decisions that define what kind of Stardew Valley player you are. What kind of Stardew Valley player am I? I'm doing some introspection. Chat, don't interrupt me. I'm introspecting. We're building it down here. We're building it at the beach. I've made up my mind. I've, I've, I've made my peace with this. Beach plus retaining soil. Does Pierre even sell retaining soil? He probably does. All right. <laughs> Miss Palindrome, what seeds do you have for me to buy? What, what's my list? What's my laundry list? I'm probably going to buy, like, more than I actually need, realistically. Holy moly. Look at all this animal produce he's got for sale. Three parsnips. All right, three parsnip. Th all right, let's, let's just start at the top here. Three parsnips. So I'm going to buy five parsnip seeds. We're just going to buy multiples of five. Um, fi five kale. Fifteen potato. That's a lot of potato. We're going to buy 20 potatoes. No, we'll buy 15 because you can get multiple potato harvests. Um, three blue jazz. Three green beans. Three cauliflower. Two rhubarb. Rhubarb sold by Sandy. Um, 14 garlic. Two tulips. Two hops. Hops are summer. Um, one strawberry we already got. One rice shoot. I rice shoots. And one ancient seed and one coffee bean, technically, which we aren't... I'm not going to go on my way to get that. All right. Is there anything else that I should buy here? Tulips, potatoes, cauliflowers, bean starters, parsnip seeds. I think we're good. I think we're good on that front, right? Okay, so what else am I buying here? Um, he's got basic retaining soil and quality retaining soil. Okay. I mean, we might as well go quality retaining soil. We'll buy one. We're just going to buy one for the ancient fruit. Um, while I'm here, I guess I can buy, like, some quality fertilizer as well. We'll just buy, like... Like 200, 200 quality fertilizers to just to have it ready, and we'll go to the desert to buy some rhubarb seeds, just so we have all of our spring crops taken care of. Thank you, Miss Palindrome. Can we get some uh, some argon love, some hearts for Miss Palindrome for putting together that list? Aren't parsnips required for the quality crops bundle? They're an option for the quality crops bundle, but we're not going to be able to grow them until. Uh, until we're not gonna be able to harvest them until next year, so we're just gonna we're gonna go with melons, corn, and pumpkins instead. Bro, I forgot I have a desert obelisk. I paid. I just paid 500 gold for a bus ticket. I've got a desert obelisk. I'm a fool. <laughs> After all that time I spent getting the desert obelisk, I wasn't willing to take a few more steps. How much rhubarb did I need? Um, two rhubarb. You got it. All right, spring seeds officially handled. Now let's go. Let's go. Let's go take care of business. Completionist brain is like 15 of each crop. I was also thinking that for like polyculture and stuff, but technically not a requirement for perfection. Although we might end up doing that in the future anyway. But for now, this is good. All right, pop it all in there. Just, just pop it all in. 
Bring the quality retaining soil, bring the ancient seeds. Okay, I mean, just get all the tools at this point. They're good. Sorry, just sorting out my inventory real quick. Don't mind me. Something like that. Okay. Polyculture is not a potential goal on the list, thankfully. It's not, not one that I put up there. All right. Ancient fruit. I'm scared. I'm scared, but we're going to go do this. Ancient fruit. So this is the area that we're going to do our Junimo huts in. This rough area right here. Where can I put my ancient fruit? I think I can put an ancient fruit. Is that a... I thought I saw something in the grass there, but I think it was just the weird little highlight. What if we put the ancient fruit right here? How do we feel about that? Is this is this a is this a good spot? Yay or nay? I don't want to do anything because I'm I'm scared, but I I feel like this is a this is an okay spot. Sure. All right. Let's lock it in. Okay, question mark, scary. <laughs> it is scary. It's it's a very scary moment because it's our only ancient seed right now. Put a scarecrow down just to help us find the silly thing. That's actually a pretty good idea. All right, there it is. Locked and loaded. This rock, you stay away. You stay far, far away. I also have to be cognizant of our animals. Um, they'll eat the grass that's like near our crop field over there. Which could make debris spreading in there more likely. So we'll have to be careful of that. Either way, um... You, my tanuki friend. You will be the guardian of the ancient fruit. You're half convinced a meteor will come down on that spot? Why would you put that out in the universe? Naomi, why why, why do you do this? You, you guys don't understand what kind of like prophetic powers that you have. You have you have the ability to sway fate and destiny more than you realize, I think. Grass is not harmful to crops. Grass grass is not harmful. Grass should not be able to spread into this crop. All right, you are going to go... You just hang up by the stump right there. Grass protect. All right. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. I think we've, we've taken care of it now. Now all, all, we, all that's left for us to do is is leave it in the hands of that quality retaining soil. I guess I'll check the I'll have to check the screenshot every day to tell whether it's watered or not or whether it stayed watered rather than like going all the way down there and all the way back up. But that's a it's a sm it's it's better than having to go all the way back down there every time, right? We do have one lightning rod. Want to take it down to protect the plant? Wait, how would the wait? How would taking down the lightning rod protect the plant? Or do you, oh, like, move it down? I thought you meant, like, take, like, like just, like, take it off the farm. If it's just, if it's on the farm at all, won't it protect the plant? Or does it have to be near the plant? I was gonna say, lightning rod, lightning rods don't, it doesn't matter where they are on the farm. They'll, they'll draw the lightning from no matter where. I'm pretty sure, right? Lock it in. All right, no rain today. We are we are now hoping for rainy days. Rain is a is a load off of our mind. Chat, can we get some rain cloud emojis in chat? Rain cloud emojis for for like the rest of spring, basically. All right, I'm gonna open up. Oh, this is the wrong folder. I'm just gonna leave this folder open. I think. All right. Um. It's still watered. I honestly, it's hard for me to tell whether it's watered or not, just based on the, just based on like the screenshot. But I think that's still watered. I'm pretty sure. If it's not, then like, oh well. But, oh okay. yeah.
and I'm not going to switch like switch scenes every single time to actually I guess I have the scene already set up don't I if I do like like this maybe I could do that I don't know well I'm not going to worry about it for the time being I'll just we'll just let's let's just go let's just go stop like I said stop dilly dallying about I want we want this Junimo hut we want this Junimo hut and we're working on limited time here Need rain for your real life crops? Send, sending some of these rain cloud emojis your way, Rasa. T minus 36 days for Luau party time. The countdown begins. Um, oh, I don't need to. I don't need to do that every time. I can just Alt Tab because I've got the that folder open now. Okay. Um, did not stay watered this time. Confirmed. Did not stay watered. I can tell that that is not watered. What are the odds for quality retaining soil to maintain it? It's like 60% or something like that. Sixty percent sounds like vaguely correct, so I'm just gonna go off the off that assumption. Sixty-six percent. Even better. I got my kicks out on Route 66, every truck stop from Butte to MO. Also guaranteed rain days for certain seasons. I thought that was only like the first year. Well, actually, I guess I know in summer there's like, isn't doesn't it always rain on Alex's birthday? Everyone's always sad about that. Just sleep. Chat, should we just sleep and not bother even checking? And just like hope for the hope for the rain to carry us through? Stayed watered. Water stays winning. I mean, it takes a lot of time for an ancient fruit to to be ready if it's watered every day. So we still gotta. I think we should still try and maintain, stay on top of it as best as possible. Um. Oh shoot! I clo I I went and I was I said I was gonna keep that folder open and then I went and closed the folder. What the heck is wrong with me, dude? Just to force a habit, I guess. Not watered. Confirmed. Not watered. Look, chat. I'm I'm willing to do this. I'm willing to do this. This is this is the the price I pay for wanting to have this larger area for my Junimo hut and not have to worry about the like debris and stuff of that uh, that that main area over there with the sprinklers, the sprinkler rich area. This is the just the cost of doing business. Is a little bit of extra time investment. But when have we ever seen like something is going to take a little extra time investment and been like, no thanks. If anything, we look at things and be like, how can we make this take more time? Because the longer something takes, the more fulfilling it'll be in the end when we actually get there. Ever thought about that? Ancient fruit is too rare to only rely on hope. I'm with you. If it was if it was something more that like took less time to grow or something less like pivotal, I would be I would say like maybe we just ride it out and let the rain days do their magic, but ancient fruit is in a category all its own. Still no rain days. You hate to see it. Oh, I've, already, I've still got the folder open. Okay. Do, do, do. Still watered. This game is way too fun. It is cherry season. Oh, it is cherry season. I should be checking the cherry trees. That's true, but I'm, I'm too laser focused right now on ancient fruit rain by the way that was you guys you did that with your rain cloud emojis congratulations and thank you i'll pick up a few more cherries why not such a pretty tree tree too 
All right, yeah, keep it going. Keep it going. More rain cloud emojis. We need more. We need all the rain we can get this season. All the rain we can possibly fathom. Let's just keep this storm going. Let this be a monsoon, the likes of which Noah has never even seen. All right, it was one day of rain. That was not the monsoon we're looking for. But every little bit does help. Still watered. Lock it in. I can move the Junimo Hut anywhere, that's true. Once we have the Junimo Hut, we're not locked to a specific location forever. We can, uh, we can move it at our leisure. It'll just become a little more annoying. Ooh, I... That's not... That is watered. That is watered. I'm starting to get a bearing on the shade of brown that the soil needs to be for it to, for it to be watered. Pretty confident that one's still watered. Flower dance. Flower dance music about to mind flood me. Alright, what do you got? Um, it's still watered, and you know what? It's grown an extra stage. It's it's honestly it's <laughs> with the with the crop blocking it and the grass all around it, it's kinda hard to tell whether it's still watered, but I'm pretty confident it's still watered. I'm like not I'm like 90% confident that it's watered. That's good enough for me. Yo, rain! Let's go. Rain rain day calls for a cherry harvest, if I've ever seen it. I can put unwatered seeds next to them, so that's easy to tell. There was a... Uh, there was an unwatered, like, artifact spot, I guess, that I hoed up, that, that I was comparing against, but that artifact spot has since been reclaimed by nature. That was the main way I was telling, though. Is it true that you can't buy Junima Huts after you finish Joja? I think I saw it in the video once, but you never confirmed it. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I have no earthly idea if that's true or not. I'm going to hope that it's not. Bro, what if we go to Joja and they and the Junimos just, like, leave? <laughs> We just go down to the Junimo hut and they've got little, like, uh, like patchwork f f signs and posts that, and they're protesting. Still watered? That is not true? You speak with confidence, Wickety, or are you just trying to will it into existence that it won't be true? I'm gonna assume you know, because, like, Wickety knows, like, everything about Stardew. You have a Joja farm with many Junimo working for you? Okay. All right. That is all the uh, confirmation I need. It's good to know. It was a good shout out. It was good. It was something that I had not even considered, to be honest with you. So it was worth, uh, worth asking. That. Oh, I cannot tell if that's water. That's watered. That's watered. I'm calling my shot. It's still watered. Do the effects of multiple auto petters stack? I don't believe so. I don't think you can get like more happiness by like just flooding your barn with auto petters or anything like that. That would be hilarious. I just have an image in my head of like cows wandering through aisles full of auto petters that just constantly stroke them on their backs no matter where they go. All right, halfway through spring, how are we doing? I want to say it's still watered. That looks that looks highly watered to me. Chad, just to, just to give you an idea of like what I'm looking at here, just to let me let me bring you on in, and may maybe you guys will know better than I do. Just to give you an idea here, though. Is this watered or is this not watered? I'm going to say that's watered.
It's like so hard to tell, but <laughs> I think that's watered. That's watered. Watered for sure. Confirmed watered. You can see the speckles at the top right. That's kind of what I was looking at, too. I think going to check would be good. If people are saying it's watered, like there, there were some snap picks for that, like that's watered, then I'm uh, I'm okay to, to leave it. Because that's also my inclination, is that it appears to be watered. Just lock it in. Lock it in. Also, happy birthday, Haley. It was it was yesterday, but happy birthday, Haley. One day we'll actually get to give her a a birthday present, but that might not be until the very far future. All right, still watered. I'm gonna call it. I need to just be. I just need to be more confident. I need to be more confident in my assertions. Is definitely still watered. Something about Argon and overanalyzing three pixels makes for a great duo. Is this a, is this a callback to <laughs> to the way I solved the mermaid puzzle during the Price of Perfection? I stand by it. I stand by my my reasoning in that one. You can't tell me that counting pixels is not a a valid strategy. That's not watered. That I now that I can, now that I see one a tile that's not watered, I am a hundred percent confident that it was watered every single other time because now I see it, it's like so obvious. I need not doubt myself. That should not have worked. I want to I want to believe that Concerned Ape made it made it work. I I want to believe he did the exact same thing and was just waiting for someone to understand his genius. But he knew that it would be too hard for the average starting player to figure it out, so he just he threw in that uh, he threw everyone else a bone with that like secret note or the, the journal scrap, I guess it's called. Yeah, see, this is not watered. Definitely not. Just so they could all figure it out like the normie way. Ooh, more quality retaining soil. That could be helpful. Although now that I think about it, I'm not going to be able to use any quality retaining soil for my like melons or anything because I need to use quality fertilizer on them. That would be a fun short to watch. There's probably a lot of shorts I could try and mine out of the Price of Perfection. Just like little highlights and stuff from, from back in the day. That could be fun for sure. All right, go to sleep for the night. Let's. Nope. You know what? I'm gonna go get my cherries. I want. I, I feel. I feel like some cherries today, both in the game and in real life. But cherries are like so expensive in real life. It's just not fair. Why do they make like the best fruits the most expensive ones? Like apples are relatively inexpensive, but they're also just kind of like a mid-tier fruit. Cherries. You're breaking the bank, but it's it's worth every penny. It, it usually feels like, but you're still breaking the bank and it hurts. Place cherries in the keg, please. Good catch. Because they sell the best? Hitting me with the truth of, of capitalism, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. Um, That is watered. Cherries are always in danger from birds. Because birds know the truth too. They know that cherries are the best fruit. They definitely do seem like like easy pickings for birds, that's for sure. High up in cherry trees. Just little little tiny fruits, easy for the birds to wrap their beaks around. Have you ever had Honeycrisp apples? Probably not. There's too many different varieties of apples. I just like go to the grocery store and buy the ones that are like, that I first see. Usually like red ones. 
Does that does that narrow it down at all? I buy the red apples. Blackberries used to be so expensive when you lived in Arizona, but here in Oregon it's so cheap. Blackberries up here are among the higher price berries. But they're not like they're not like cherries. They're not they're not crazy. Not that cherries are berries, but let's not even get into that discussion. Did I ever have an original banana? Like the ones they used to sell 50 years ago? They cost like 30 bucks now? I was under the impression that they were extinct, to be perfectly honest with you. Just some like, what, like artisan bananas? Is that what we're talking about? Is that the kind of world we live in? Someone left a comment on one of my VODs recently. I must have been talking about this sim similar thing in the, uh, in that VOD. That, like, the artificial banana flavor is based off of that, like, original banana, banana flavor, or, like, the, an olden banana that is now, uh, that is now extinct. Still grown on a couple of islands. They're the Mighty Bananas from, from Breath of the Wild, slash Tears of the Kingdom. It's staying watered, by the way, chat. I don't know what to tell you. This quality retaining soil is doing is doing the is doing Yoba's work right now. Sixty six percent feeling feeling a little more like eighty six percent right now. Grow Michelle bananas. Or is that Gross Michael Bananas? Probably not Gross Michael Bananas, but... <laughs> is. If you want to make someone mad, that's probably a fun way to pronounce it. Only a few more sleeps until the end of... Uh until the end of spring here. What's nice is after after the ancient fruit is fully grown, I don't have to worry about like checking in on it anymore because like it doesn't matter if it's watered at that point. I'm not gonna be able to harvest it, so I don't need to even worry about like the, the regrowing potential. Not until my little Junimo friends come around and, and make me do it. Oh I should probably check that mail, huh? I mean I know it's just gonna be for the flower dance. It's just Lewis dropping off his pity mail. He's like, I know she hasn't been to the flower dance in literally like four years, but maybe this is the time. Maybe she's finally become lonely enough that she wants to come back to the festival. I'm sorry to tell you, Lewis, Mayor Lewis, if that's what you're still calling yourself, but the flower dance, you cannot pay me enough to go to that flower dance. I've got my tub of flowers. Unless I'm trying to woo one of the villagers down there, not a chance. We've, we've had our fun there. Oh, I closed the folder. I was doing so well, too. Alright. Spring 24th. Um. Bro, I cannot tell. That is so hard to tell. Because <laughs> it's advanced. The, the ancient fruit is now advanced to a higher stage of growth. Chat, I'm going to need your help on this one. This is going to be an interactive exercise. Chat, is this watered or is this not watered? I think it's watered. I want to say watered, but I honestly have no idea. <laughs> it's, it's a lot harder to tell now. Zoom in more? You got it. <laughs> Chat, is this watered or is this not watered? That looks wet to you. Like this is this seems like the right this seems like a darker shade of brown here, right? Let me increase video quality. Zoom. Enhance. Chat. Is this watered? Chat, tell me. Tell me is it Oh, I can't zoom in anymore. Chat, is this watered? <laughs> If someone showed you this, like, if, if this was just, like, a screenshot that appeared on your screen, absent of any context whatsoever, would you know that this is from, that this is an ancient fruit plant in Stardew Valley? It looks watered, but you go water it anyway.
It might be watered. Looks kind of dry. All right. I I am putting my money on it being watered, but I'm I'm willing to at least go check. I'm willing to check this time. We haven't we haven't gone down to actually check in a hot minute anyway, so. I know who's not watered. There you go. Poll? <laughs> I'm not going to poll whether it's watered or not. We're just going to go check. That is a fun idea, though. Chat. That's watered. I want to I, I want to say that's watered. That was watered, chat. It didn't change color at all. I got gaslit. I got I was successfully gaslit. But it's okay. I know it was it was, it was not gaslighting on purpose. It was like gaslighting because you care. So it's it's understandable. They're the same picture. Nah, no no one no one truly gaslit me because to gaslight you have to have like in like ill intent. Right? So it's all good. We're all good. Not what gaslighting means, definitely not. You're absolutely right. <laughs> it's just an easy term to use. Alright. That's still watered. That's still watered, yeah. I'm confident in my assertion. It looks exactly the same. The definition of gaslight is that it's on purpose. Then what's like fake? Then what's not purpose gaslighting? Is that just like making a mistake? Is that just is that just being mistaken? Is there is there a word for that? Is that traffic lighting? That's still watered. What an, what an amazing use of quality retaining soil, honestly. What? What? The, oh gosh, not again! I thought there was a crop fairy about to come around, and then this this lady with her with her witchy laugh. Can we get some witch emojis in chat? Witch emojis for another another void egg. Cursed egg number two, and a rainy day, you know what? Which brought the rain, maybe she's not all bad. New avoid egg. Avoid dance. Which emojis, exactly. All right, good to end the season off with rain. So will the ancient fruit, assuming that every day was watered, is the ancient fruit going to be ready now? Is it on day 28 or is it after day 28? I never remember this. It's not ready yet. So maybe I maybe it's not watered, but I, I I'm going to say it's it looks it looks watered to me. It looks watered to me. We'll wait one more day here. Because chaos. Chaos! I mean, tomorrow we're going to go do our debris day anyway. We're going to be out and about tomorrow at the start of summer, so... We'll we'll just check in with our ancient fruit anyway. Alright. Are you guys ready? We are fewer than two weeks. Less than two weeks, even, away from a June Moat. Can you guys believe it that we're that we're here already? <laughs> that this is happening? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go clear some debris. Then we'll buy some summer seeds. We'll plant our summer seeds. We'll plant. We'll, we're gonna actually have to like prepare an actual plot this time. We're gonna have to get uh, get a little farmland ready here. Some bombs. Yo, the ancient fruit! It is ready! Yo, look at that. Alright, ancient fruit confirmed. We successfully grew an ancient fruit. Now we just have to wait for the Junimos to come around and harvest it. Perfect. Alright. 
I'm gonna go ahead and check the coop as well. There's our second void egg, cursed egg. I should put a statue in the coop. Does the wicked statue prevent the, the witch from appearing in the in the coop? I thought that was only worked with slime hutches, to be honest with you. But if it works in a coop, then Wait, can I bu can I buy a wicked statue or do I have to craft it? Yep, we're planting summer crops today. We just got to be very careful with how we actually do it. But first, we're, we're clearing the debris. Clearing the debris to make sure we're staying on top of things here. Then I'll go, I'll go buy, I'll probably go buy my summer seeds just so I don't accidentally find myself like outside of Pierre's at 5, 10 p.m. or something. I'm going to bomb the hardwood to get a horse as well. I don't think we have enough hardwood trees to get enough for for a stable just yet. But that is on the uh, that is on my radar at the very least. Why do I clear the mahogany seeds? I clear some of them just because I don't want it to become like too unwieldy. Last time we had to harvest the mahogany, it stressed me out a little bit because it was like so so chaotic and terrible. It was, it was just not not properly maintained at all. An ill-manicured forest, if you will. So I'm trying to manicure it, like, a little bit. In order to make sure that I can do it somewhat sensibly. Even if it takes longer to to grow the hardwood that we might need in the future. I think it's, uh, I think it's worth it. Also, PJR, by the way. PJR, blessing this first day of summer. With, with good vibes. Bow, 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 and now. C H L O E. Chloe. Alright. I think Debris Day is pretty pretty taken care of here. What about well, I guess behind the barn here. Behind the barn is an easy spot to miss. In fact, I think I often do. Can't I buy a Wicked Statue from one of the dwarves? I thought it would be Krobus that sells the Wicked Statue, because he sells the recipe for the Wicked Statue. Whether he actually sells Wicked Statues, like, directly, could not tell you. I don't think I've ever actually bought one, but... Am I not going to pre-plant this year? I mean, we're going to plant the... I, I mean, I don't know how much I... I want to plant, like... Here's my rationale right now. I should probably plant as much as I can of the crops that I need for quality crops in order to main make sure that I have a good sample size to get all five that I need. And then from there, we can plant whatever we need to plant, right? Can you break a meteorite with a basic powerful pickaxe? I don't believe so. I think powerful works differently on a pickaxe versus an axe. So I'm pretty sure that would not work. Okay. Um, just deposit everything for right now. We can go buy some seeds. Some summery seeds. Alright. This is the big one. This is the big one, chat. We gotta, we gotta get the seeds. So I need, I need lots of melon seeds, and I need lots of corn seeds. Lots of melon, lots of corn. And corn will grow into fall, so we maybe don't need as much of it. We ha we'll have multiple chances, but melons definitely. All right, but first, Miss Palindrome, you said you, you do have a list of summer seeds that I might need. Hit me with it. Yeah, I shouldn't need to plant too much corn. I'll, need, I'll plant, like, a ton of melons and, like, not, not like, a decent amount of corn. Just so we're, we're certain on that. But It's in the Discord stream discussion? Okay. Good to know. Argon Gamer, I see you. You don't have to spam. You d please stop spamming. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Stream discussion. 
let's see. What do we got here? Um, we have for summer, for summer right here. Okay. I'm going to have to move this onto it. All right, Argon, Argon Gamer. I gave you a warning. There you go. When your timeout is over, then maybe come back and, <laughs> and try that one again, okay? You're, you're besmirching the Argon name. I'm do, I, I can do that plenty enough for both of us. Don't you worry. Okay. So let me see. I don't have chat open right now because I have I have this. I have my Discord open. So I can't see, but let's see. So blueberry. So we need three blueberries. Um, five hot pepper. Three radish. Three poppy. Poppy seeds. Um, nine tomato. Four melon. We'll, we'll skip the melon for now because we're going to buy a bunch. Uh, same with the corn. Three red cabbage. Three hops. Two star fruit, which is at the... Uh, obvious, obviously in the desert. Two summer spangle. Spangle seeds. One sunflower. Three wheat. I feel like we're gonna. I feel like we're gonna need more than three wheat, but maybe that's. I don't know. All right. Um, what else did I need here? I need lots. I need so I need to buy my melon. And I need to buy my corn. So how much? How many melons? Thank you again to Miss Palindrome, by the way, for helping with that one. Thank you again for the. Uh, thank you again for the assist. How many melons should we buy? How much, what's the area that a Junimo hut can harvest? This is, this seems like a wikiable situation to me. Wiki, Junimo hut. No, not Junimo hot. I saved that for my, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> um, uh... It's uh, a total region of 289 tiles, 283 plus the hut's footprint. So 283 farmable tiles is what you're telling me is the maximum from, uh, is the maximum that a Junimo hut can cover. 283. Junimo hot for the win. <laughs> so how many melons do we get? I, I mean, I don't want to have to water all that, right? Go 150? 25 to 30 melons? I was thinking, like... I was thinking, like, 69 melons. Be on the safe side. And then... Um... Maybe some corn seeds? Maybe some corn seeds as well, but how much corn seeds? We don't need that many corn seeds. I'm going to go comfortably 20 corn. 20 corn is probably too much, but comfortably, I'm okay with it. Sixty-nine corn. Yeah, corn, it's it's good through summer and fall. And there's multiple harvests, so we don't need to worry too much. We don't, don't need to worry as much about it as we do about the melons here. Welcome on in, Abby. <laughs> I know, right? Farming. Who would have thought we'd have this inventory full of seeds? It took us a little while to get up on our feet with the with the seeds. It took us until year seven here, but things are, are pretty well taken care of now. Okay. Also, I, I was told, let's see, keep as seeds one wheat, one melon, and one summer spangle. Do we not need an extra summer, oh, summer spangle for the tub of flowers, that's what that is for, okay. One wheat, one melon, one summer spangle to keep as seeds. The rest I could grow. Okay. Thank you, Miss Palindrome. Also, starfruit at the desert, also starfruit at the desert, you're not wrong. Quickly pop over to the desert and just pick up some starfruit.
retaining soil. We're not going to be... Well, I guess we could use some retaining soil for the, like, crops that we don't need quality. But if we're going to be down there watering anyway, like, why not just, just go for it? All right, five star fruit seeds should be enough for right now. Yeah, Junimo should harvest scythable crops. They should harvest every crop. They won't harvest, like, uh, wild seeds, right? Seeds to pick up at the museum, too. I didn't even think about that. That's a good shout-out. I think we're good on them for right now. It's fun to watch the Junimos punch the fire seeds. <laughs> I feel like I've so seldom even interfaced with the Junimo huts. The fact that it's, like, so important right now is kind of it's, it's hilarious to me okay let's get things under control here let's see what we need i'm gonna need this and this um i'm just bring all the all the tools right now i'll need the salad for this star shards of course i will need my melon seeds my corn seeds let's just make sure we get those in the ground first my quality fertilizer and let's start with that let's just start there okay Let's do a little basic floor plan here. Hello, Mon Chevre. Mon Chevre. Okay. So, we want the Junimo hut in this general area. Please don't trample my ancient fruit. I worked very hard to put that there in the ground. Um, look, we're just going to bite the bullet. I'm getting rid of that stone. One XP, I'm willing to take it. I'm willing to take it. I just want to have a nice, clean footprint here. I'm also going to go ahead and chop this. And we will start clearing out just, like, a little area here. Just got to be careful of that ancient fruit. Not the floor organizing we want, but the floor organizing we need. So I'm, I'm envisioning in my head... Like, a Junimo hut, like, kind of nestled next to this stump, you know what I mean? Like, it, like if I put, like, a Junimo hut, like, right... It's, it's six tiles, right? So what if we did, like, one, two, three, four, five, five, six? What if we did the Junimo hut, like, right here? How does that feel? Have a good one there, Rasa. Thank you for hanging out. Then I would do... How much do I have here? I've got 89. I've got 89 crops to plant, at least for the for the start here. So we would do 90, so that would be... Maybe one or two south, so I can get around, like, the back side of it. But I, I, I mean... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of the best way here. We want to go a little bit further north as well, for sure. Want to clear a nice, decently sized footprint here. This is going to take forever without sprinklers or even an upgraded can. Yeah, but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> it's going to be worth every step of the journey. Don't you worry about it. Okay. Okay. This feels reasonable right now. Let's go ahead and start. I like I like my spot for the Junimo hut right there. One, so let's just let's just what if we just like spiral out? What if we just like start spiraling? No, I don't like spiral tech. Let me just go let me just do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we could do like ten. Like 10, they'll go up this far, right? Yeah, we're still we're still well within our bounds of uh of where the Junimos will harvest, I'm pretty sure. Alright, you are gonna have to move, my friend. Sorry to tell you this. Put you right there for right now. So I don't want to go too much further down here. Also, we'll eat some salads. Am I going to get rid of this rock in the bottom right? You know what? Good shout. Good shout. I'll take it. I'll take the XP hit. Let 
I'm gonna mark this as the sp that's the spot where I actually want the hut. Okay. I'm not counting how many tiles this is right now. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of hoeing, and we'll we'll reevaluate when I need to. Imagine if I got coal though. Cost of doing business. It's it's worth the risk, I would say. Okay. Um we can go we can go one further out this way. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse pardon me. Okay. Why wait, why aren't you in your farm? Why aren't you in your barn? Hello? All the other animals have gone home. You you can you should probably make your way back home, sweetie. I'm sorry. I, I know I appreciate that you want to keep me company during this, during this uh, grueling and intense exercise, but oh boy, <laughs> but, yeah, you're you're safer off, in, you're better off in there. Don't you worry about it, okay? Little curious cow. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now this bat's gonna keep us company. All right, let's go ahead and just plant. Well. Yeah, we'll we'll plant the melons. We'll plant the melons. No, we'll do we'll do. I don't know. Plant the melons. I just want to stay away from that from the ancient fruit while I'm holding this button down right now. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need more scarecrows as well. That does not escape my notice. I'm gonna real quick just 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 finish it off up here. It's fine. It's fine. One more right right there for for sure. Why not? <laughs> this is gonna be so cursed. Why is there a bat? Because we got monster spawning enabled on our farm. Probably shouldn't die as well. All right, nine thirty. We still got lots of time. I don't need to worry about it. Welcome back, Argon Gamer. You say sorry about earlier. No worries. I just would appreciate if you did not spam in the future. And uh, you're cool in my book. Appreciate the apology. Thank you. All right. You want to bring down one of these. I would, I'm going to go ahead and also get my weapon out. Wherever I keep the darn thing. There it is. All right, you guys can can eat my obsidian. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. All right, perfect. Officially handled. All right, the corn. Just a nice, just a nice little sectional of corn over here. We'll take it. All right, now I have to do this. We're not going to get all this watered, are we? <laughs> it's fine. It's not the end of the world if we don't get it watered tonight. As long as we get it watered tomorrow. Okay. You are hopefully going to protect all of that. I'm going to put you up here. Hopefully, is that going to cover all our bases as far as the crops go? I think it will. There might be some... I might need... It might be a good idea to bring some more over there and there. If I hurry, there's no way. I'm going to water... I'll water the corn... I think I can get through the corn, but I don't think I'm going to be able to water all the melons. Scarecrows always cover more land than expected. I know, I'm always, like, concerned that they're not going to cover it, but hopefully we're alright. Okay. I'm off to bed. And we'll take care of all the melons tomorrow. Then we will go from there. We could probably plant some more crops tomorrow as well. Plant some more more summer crops that we might need, and uh, and hopefully take care of business that way. 
Okay. Quality fertilizer. We'll save the rest of this for, like, pumpkins or whatever. Um. We good? We good. Have you missed the Junimos? No, Cass, you're arriving just in time. We are currently preparing for the Junimos arrival. The Junimos are on their way. We're waiting with bated breath to invite them to the farm. Put the scarecrow next to the stump above the hut. That's probably a good idea, honestly. <laughs> okay. Um, what should I bring with me? If if anything. Should I bring all my summer seeds? They're all like mangled in with my spring seeds now. That's an, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> um Is it worth planting all this other stuff right now? Let's see. We want it's it's probably worth it. Plant these in spring. These are summer. These are summer. Um what don't I need right now? I don't need this. I don't need this. I might need I don't need my sword right now. I might need the scythe, though. Plant, the, plant that. Um, plant radishes in summer. What was I leaving for later? I need I need to leave one summer spangle. I can I could grow the rest of them. Need to plant tomatoes. I need to plant a little bit of wheat. But only I can leave. I need to keep one wheat for Ginger Island for the Gourmand Frog. All right, we'll start with this. Let's start with this and figure it out. I planted all the melons, so I need to. Oh, it was it was a melon that I needed to save. I wasn't even thinking about it. That's okay. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um. So let's just go ahead and let's just let's just plant all the other stuff that we that we need here. All helter skelter. I'm not gonna worry too much about like keeping things necessarily together. Or like keeping them in like neat rows or whatever. Be careful right here. Okay. The most surgical farming anyone's ever done in this game. Uh, that's going to be slightly frustrating that the hot peppers are going to be split up by, like, one. But, yeah, you know what? We can go down, like, one more here. Go down, like, just a little bit further. Okay, right there. Now let's do a little bit more over this way. Oh, didn't need to go quite that far. Well, I guess that probably works, right? Is that still seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's within range, I think. Maybe I shouldn't risk it, though. Maybe what if we just go down here instead? Like that. Alright, I need 14 more spots for the stuff I've currently got. Um, this... One... Two, three, four. Five. So this, we could go a little bit further. We could probably go a little further up still. Oh my gosh, why does it look like that? Why you guys make, don't make fun of my farming. I'm going to go further down. Is this too far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this, is this okay right here? I think we're okay. And a little bit of wheat. Or can I put one more wheat? <laughs> Let's go You'll put one wheat right up here. Why not? There you go. Enjoy. Okay. Um... Do I have any other summer crops I needed to plant? I honestly don't remember. Do the Junimos harvest in a circle or square? I believe it is a, a square area that they that they harvest. Alright, what do we still have? We've got starfruit seeds, spangle seeds. Is that it? Starfruit, Spangle, Sunflowers. 
All the rest of this is... Oops, the hops. Shoot. <laughs> I'm not going to have enough room for all this, chat. I'm not going to have enough room for all this. Starfruit and buy a melon seed. I'm just going to... You know what? I'm going to hedge my bets here. We're not going to plant all this. I'll plant the starfruit. I only need two hops. Hops are multi-harvest. Okay, fine. You got me. Plant that. Spangle seeds. Okay. Arr. Sunflower. I'm so I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Wait for the wheat and the radish to be done. Okay. I can, you know what? I can I can get on board with that. Once the Junibos harvest the wheat and the radish. I only need one summer spangle. I bought five. I plant with 3x3 three three Junimo hut patterns, 7 to the left, 7 to the right, 7 above, and 7 below. That is, I think, what I was working off of, is like 7, so. I am going to, we'll buy, alright, we'll plant the one summer spangle. I'll go buy one melon seed. I'm going to buy some grass starters as well, to so that we can like kind of like, like quarantine the area once it's actually all finalized. My brain is starting to hurt a little bit, though. I'm not going to lie. This is the most farming I've ever done. <laughs> and I'm not even going to be the one doing the farming. I don't get any farming experience. This is literally just all the prep work. All right, buy one melon seed for Ginger Island. Then I'm going to go ahead and buy... Like, just buy like 100 grass starters just to have them on hand. Plant the longest crops first, but a lot is happening. Longest to grow. There's, there's a lot happening. I'm just trying to piece it all together in my brain. I think we still have... I think we have space to make this work. I think we definitely do have space to make this work. This song is fitting for the anxiety right now. All right. So, like, if this is the door of the Junimo Hut right here in the middle, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can go, like, a little bit further up here still, right? So we, how much do we have to plant? We have to plant seven things, eight things. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just want to, and you know. <laughs> Fine, we'll just eight. It works. It works. It works. It's fine. Don't worry about it. One, two, three, four, five. Two hops right there. A little summer spangle right there. These cows are very curious right now. Very curious cows. Leave a space in front of the hut for the extra, so it's really like eight below, but always seven with the Junimo space. Am I gonna be able to check? I was gonna. I was about. I was gonna say, can I check the Junimo hut? When there's like crops nearby, because I might accidentally harvest them. I'm sure it'll be fine, but like, it is it is a mild concern. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna plant a little bit of grass just to keep things protected here. Even more intense music for more intense farming. Let's just let's just plant right along the edges here. Keep it nice and safe. Watch out for the animals. No! Oh, no! I was so far away! Ah, my brain! It's not worth it. <laughs> it was such a pettable bunny! It was such a pettable bunny! Come on! You can't- you can't be mad. You can't- you, you guys want- you guys wanted me to pet that bunny. Don't even say that you didn't. Don't even say it. Because I wanted me to pet the bunny, too. I'm not mad. Alright. Um, no, keep the star shards. I need luck to avoid that sort of situation. So I needed two, two hop starters. I plant the blueberries. I'll plant... I didn't plant, like, anything now. I'm so frazzled. I'm so frazzled-dazzled. Okay. Okay. 
prepare your brain. Prepare your brain. Get into, go into your mind palace. Go into your mind palace. It's all fine. This is not that hard. It's literally just... It's literally... People do this all the time. People... Okay. Okay. Okay? Start there. Start there. I don't know why this is so anxiety-inducing to me. It just is. <laughs> Keep one wheat and one summer spangle seed. I got you. I got you. One wheat, one summer spangle seed, and one melon seed. It's the music? It might be the music, partially. I'm not gonna lie. The music is a little bit intimidating. Alright. Just don't even sweat it. Just just plant the things. It's No one's gonna be mad if they're not planted in, like, a good way. Well, some some people might be mad about that one. But, okay, that's that's on them. Okay, two, three, four. We can go a little further out here still. We can go at least out to like here. Um, we want we can go a little further down as well, right? Because this is so. This is one, two, three, four. We can go like three more tiles down if we need if we really need to here. Something like that. All right, we'll take it. Um, plant the star fruit right there. I'm gonna plant some tomatoes right along the bottom here. Um, this, this we'll put we'll put our one summer spangle right there because that's that's something I are, I know I only need one of. How far is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to go like too far. I, I would rather go up here. I think. Like we did last time. Okay, I don't know. This might be too even too many tiles, but it's good enough. All right. Okay, let's go back and get some stuff. We'll go buy that one melon seed, our grass starters again. This is all starting to feel vaguely familiar. Hey, Rainbow Capitalism, Karita Hearts. Thank you for being a member for five months at the Neutron level. Going rainbow on me now. With the Pride Month, I appreciate it. Can you get some rainbow emojis in chat? How long have I had this milestone sitting here? Anyway, happy Pride, y'all. Hell yeah. Thank you, Karita, for the uh, for the support there. You think I'm going insane? One Summer Spangle? I do have to plant one Summer Spangle, don't I? I, I need to plant my single Summer Spangle, according to... According to miss a uh, palindrome right because i need to ship a summer spangle at some point but what, what if my next goal riddle me this what if my next goal is ship a summer spangle and then i'm sitting there in fall with no summer spangle to my name can't be having that or what if my next goal is you know befriend caroline then i'll at least have a good head start <laughs> Okay. Let's leave this one melon seed. We'll bring four wheat seeds. Bring the sunflower seeds, because why not? And the sum single summer spangle seed. And I think we're good. Everything else here is spring seeds, am I right? No hops. Need two hops, okay. Okay, now we're good. Now we good. The worm? Was there Was there a worm? Alright, you got me. A little ancient doll. An ancient doll covered in grime. My favorite kind of doll, to be honest with you. You can buy it at that point of Ginger Island, so season won't matter. But yeah, we can't harvest on Ginger Island because we can't get a Junimo hut on Ginger Island, so... That's uh, that's the problem. Are you guys kidding me right now with this? <laughs> these these animals, I love them, I hate them. They're they're so stressed. They're stressing me out so much right now. 
You guys, okay. All right, you... Just, just stay over there, okay? You'll be fine. He's gonna be fine. Okay. A little bit of wheat. A little bit of sunflowers. Perfectly calculated. All right. Put down my grass starters now. Don't accidentally pet any animal animals. And then we and then we go on a watering rampage. You you guys have never seen watering like you're about to see this watering right now. Are you are you even ready? Okay. I think we are good on our grass front right now. The animals are going to be a little troublesome. True true for? I <laughs> I appreciate that you love pie so much, but that is a that is, is I would constitute that as spamming, so could you please uh cool it? Five more? No, not five more. <laughs> you've you've had plenty of pets. You've had plenty of pets. All right. Hello, Argon Gamer. All right, let's go ahead and water. Can we get some water emojis in chat, by the way? Watering cans, if you got it. If you're a channel member, you got the watering can. That is the, this is the prime time to use it. We haven't had a chance to use it all challenge. Now we get to go absolutely buck wild. If you don't have it, just uh, just any water-based emojis you can po possibly muster. Oh baby, and to this song too. This this is the old. This is my watering song. This is my watering jam. A fence with the furniture catalog. It might make my life too easy, but you love the idea. Hold on. I could go buy the furniture catalog. Wait, you guys are right? And build a fence. What, what, what would I build a fence out of? Because, like, the furniture... It, it wouldn't get destroyed by debris, would it? Like, furniture is immune to debris. I'm starting to feel exhausted. Chair fence? Chair fence? Alright, you know what? Let's at least get an let's at least get the option. Let's at least have the option, okay? Furniture catalog, if nothing else, it's gonna be fun. Fence out of chairs to hop in and out. Finish watering first. I don't want to finish watering and it be like 6 p.m. and then I can't buy the furniture catalog. Is it Tuesday though? Oh wait, it's Tuesday. Doesn't does Robin sell the furniture catalog or does does Pierre sell it? For some reason, I was thinking that Pierre sold it, but he sells something else, right? He sells, like, a different catalog. He sells just the Normie catalog. Ew! Alright, we'll buy it tomorrow. Nobody wants that normal catalog. Who's, buy who's buying, like, so all this wallpaper? There's no way. <laughs> Could not be me. Could not be me. I can buy it from Robin when she gets home from the workout. When is that? I mean, let's just make it. Let's just make life a bit simpler on ourselves. Things have already been pretty complicated today. Let's just go ahead and wait until tomorrow to buy it. Let's just let's just finish watering. <laughs> All right, watch out for this stealthy cow right here. You guys, anyone else see this cow trying to hide in my in my crop field? Trying to get a sneaky little pet in. Thank you for moving off the crops. I'm gonna go ahead and take the, take advantage of this. What cow? I know they're very good at camouflage. <laughs> Calmouflage, if you will. Because they're, they're not camels, they're cows, so it would be cow camouflage. Does anything we plant today need quality fertilizer? I don't think so. The quality fertilizer is should only need be needed for the melons, the corn, and eventually the pumpkins when we plant those in fall.
There's an unwatered crop behind the Tiki Rare Crow. Wickedy, you're so cracked. Thank you. Okay. Be very careful. Is there is there something there that I'm going to pet? Or is that just like for the, the Rare Crow? I'm so scared. I don't think there's anything on that spot <laughs> that I'm lo looking at it. There might be a melon, actually. There might be. A, there's probably a melon. Perfect. Now we just have to come down and do that every single day for the foreseeable future, and we're all good. Uh, I do want to get rid of that, honestly. Can I tell you, I kind of want to close the animals into their into their buildings, at least for the next little while, just so they're not, like, getting in the way and they're not, like, messing with the, the grass structure. I feel like that might be a good idea. I don't want to close it yet because there's still animals out here. But I think I should I should wait for them to go inside and then close them in. I feel a little cruel doing it, but I think it's for the greater good here. Should have done that already. <laughs> I'm glad you're on board. I'm glad you're on board. Okay. Go ahead and put the grass starters away for right now. I do not need the obsidian edge. Just go ahead and leave that right there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's how I like it. Haunch, you're late. You're not late. You're right on time. We got, we got a Junimo hut incoming in the very, very near future here. That said, I don't think we're going to be able to get everything from the Junimo Hut that we need. I don't think we're going to get into into fall or anything like that this stream. Because I need to go to work in a little bit here. But next stream, oh baby, next stream. Is going to be a great stream. Alright, close them in. It's pronounced honk. Okay, <laughs> that's that's much easier than anything my brain was concocting. Thank you for the correction. All right. Stream until the blue discus is at work. <laughs> okay, I think we are good to go. Let's go ahead and close it in. Went ahead and posted the fall seeds in the Discord as well. Thank you, Miss Palindrome. I appreciate the uh, the work you're doing there. It'll save us a lot of grief in the future, I would imagine. But nothing's going to save us all the grief right now of having to go down and water our crops again. Can we get some more watering emojis in solidarity, please? Because while I'm watering, I have to I have to be focused on watering, so I don't get to look at chat all that much, or not as much as I would want to. All right, start me right there, just on the one that I would have missed anyway. The one you should not have watered. This feels so wrong. <laughs> it feels so weird to be actually, like, farming right now. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with all these crops? I can't touch them. Beatrix's hands aren't made for crops. They're made for they're made for the mines. They're made for for going through time loops in the mines and, and getting through experience free. They're not made for for this kind of manual labor. Just imagine one day we get an upgraded watering can though. It might be one of our final goals when we get to finally upgrade our watering can, but uh, <laughs> I guess all, all, honestly, we probably don't need to do all that much in the way of farming beyond what we're doing right now. So maybe watering won't be so bad in the future, but. What have we become? All right, I need more water. Don't forget to hydrate, baby. Your 
Your only concern is accidentally harvesting while watering. I would never do that. Chat, do you guys trust me not to accidentally harvest while watering? When have I ever accidentally gained experience while trying to do something else? Never. Not even one time in this game have I done that. You say a crop just happens to get ar harvested like that? No, he orchestrated it. Argon. What was I thinking? Took him into my own farm. Animals get pets. They don't. They don't need. They're not, they're not going to get pet today. I'll tell you that because because they're all trapped inside now. I've never done that, especially not less than one in-game day ago. Exactly, I'm glad we're all on the same page. Alright. Another successful day of watering behind us. T minus... What is it, seven days? I mean, well, eight days, I guess, technically, for the luau. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this Junima is real. This is, this is really happening, huh? We're really going to get there. I can't even do basic math because I'm so excited. Why is there just a lone tree? I don't, I don't know what tree you're looking at. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! I don't know if this is a guaranteed rain day or not, but I'm still just as excited. Let's go! Back to bed, baby. <laughs> I forgot rain was even a freaking thing up until that exact moment. That was so good. More rain, please. Okay. I don't want to get too greedy. Don't want to get too greedy. Chat, what if instead of doing all this watering, we just go grind out Skull Caverns for a bit and get some rain totems? How do you feel about that? Kind of a meme suggestion right now, but honestly, for the future, it's, it's not a terrible idea. <laughs> Okay. Crops are starting to look pretty good. Skull Cavern with just the axe. I've done crazier things, probably. Although, honestly, killing monsters in Stardew Valley with just the axe or, like, just a pickaxe is not a fate I would wish on my worst enemy. It is so hard <laughs> to, to accurately, like, connect those hits because they're such slow swings. Do you think anyone has ever actually killed mo killed a monster other than, like, w the ones that have, like, one HP with a pickaxe or an axe? Like, just gone out of your way to, like, axe and sh a shadow brute to death? Could you imagine? Might be worth a challenge all its own one day. Do you imagine having to restart a, a time loop simply because your hand brushed up against a cow as you were traversing the farm? I can definitely imagine it, because, you know, that's just my day-to-day -day life. People look at me and they say, how does he do it? Doesn't he just want to leave a normal life? But what they don't understand is that, to me, this is normal. This is my life. I wouldn't have it any other way, baby. Your cat says hi. Hello to your cat, Jay. Why is the watering sound effect so good? Sound of the water coming out of the watering can. It's it's kind of it's kind of soothing me. It's giving me like ASMR vibes a little bit. All right, do not harvest the ancient fruit. Furniture catalog. Good good shout out. The furniture catalog. You definitely need to invest in that. 
It's worth a try at the very least. Worth a try. Alright. Business taken care of there. Let's go get this furniture catalog and and see what kind of magic we can make happen with that. <laughs> I don't even know. We're going to have to pick a good, aesthetically pleasing chair. So I do think that probably is the way to go, right? I think, sell, I think chairs for offense. For want of offense, chairs make for strange bedfellows. We will, uh... We'll go ahead and do that, because then we can, like, hop in and out of the of the field to our heart's content. You propose a picnic area for hooties and the chicken once the, once the furniture catalog is acquired? That can be arranged, but for right now, we have more pressing matters to attend to. Some cute plants with some chairs. Ooh. I can see that. Hey, Robin. Uh, yeah, I'm just here for, like, a small little chore. I just want to spend, what is it, $200,000 on this furniture catalog? All right, thanks. Bye. Okay, thanks. Bye. Maybe I should buy two just so I have, like, I can have them in multiple locations. All right. Who would have thought that the furniture catalog would become a pivotal part of our plan for a Junimo hut, of all things? This is <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, but that's why I love it. That's why I love these challenges. You get to do weird stuff like this. I, I'm so here for this. Okay. Get out of here. You too. All right, so we're gonna need to scythe the area. Or I guess we don't need to scythe the area. We could technically just put the furniture in the grass, right? All right, set that down right now. Uh, chairs. Should we? Should we just? Should we mix and match, or should we? Oh gosh, my inventory is gonna be so. I'm, I'm gonna. I should clear up my inventory because <laughs> these chairs are not gonna stack, right? So. Don't forget to like the stream. Hey, yeah, if, you, if you're enjoying the stream, please do leave a like down below. Thank you for the call to action there, Michelle. Greatly appreciate it. All right. Just deposit all the goodies for right now. One of every chair. You know what? You finally found your calling, you little chair. You sussy chair. What if we just have, like, a chair as, like, the the gate? Like, this chair is our gateway in. And then we just have, like, little tables or something all around the rest of it. We have, like, little baby tables. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of want, like, little, ooh, little end tables. Some grandmother end tables. Or little plants. Can we do like can we can we do any of these plants or are all these plants only for inside? House plant? Tree column. Tree of the winter star. Just a bunch of tree columns? I've never even heard of a tree column before today. What the heck is this? What what what, what on earth are you? <laughs> it's a bit of a high fence. I'm here for it. I'm going tree columns, dude. Give me my tree columns. Tree column supremacy? No one's ever used tree columns for anything before. I don't even know, like, how this constitutes a tree column. Is this, like, it's just, it, this just looks like a tall pillar with grass on top of it. I'm not going to lie to you. Should we hit the diagonals as well? I honestly don't know. You know what I'm I am gonna I am gonna do something here. I don't want I shouldn't do it along the bottom because it'll just like block our view so badly. So let's be a little smarter about it. We'll do tree columns like along the rest of this. 
Like, we'll go along the top here, but along the bottom we'll do something else. Like a manicured pillar. I saw that one. <laughs> Looks nice without the diagonals. Yeah, but I'm just wondering, will it, will debris and stuff be able to spread in through the diagonals? Also, I guess I technically can just move these because this stump is actually doing a lot of a lot of work here right now. Debris spotted by the stump. Hold on, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. All right, let's let's just do. Just continue down here. I feel like a true gamer right now. Okay. Isn't this just about the animals though? I mean, animal. It helps with the animals for sure. It, it makes a big deal for the animals, but I feel like it helps with debris as well, right? Unless like. This stuff can get destroyed by debris. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go around this, like so. It just feels right. Okay, there's already something there, so we can't do anything about that. Is there still a spot there? Did I miss one? No, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, I think we're good with the tree columns. This is certainly an aesthetic. Are you guys had on scale of uh, zero to fifteen? How do you like the tree columns? I'm gonna hit the hit up the diagonals. To be honest with you, I just don't want to risk it with the with the, with debris or anything like that. All right, let's go ahead and bring this around the bottom. 51, 11, 69, 10,000. People are loving the tree columns. Two. Now you can't win everybody over. Two, six, seven. <laughs> All right, what are we doing on the bottom here, though? We should have another gate. Um, so that'll be another... I'm going to go with a purple office chair. No, oh, I'm going with the breakfast chair. Are you kidding me? Why is it called a breakfast chair? I don't, I don't know, but I love it. All right. Just one so we can get out on the bottom here. Let's put it, like, right there. Um, then we want something to... Some, something low profile. Something low hanging that will not block the... Yeah, how about an industrial pipe? How oh, about... <laughs> uh, decorative bowl. Small crystal. Does this work? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Small crystal. Why not? It's a very incognito little fence down here. Model ships. <laughs> Model ships could be fun, actually. Alright. Boom. Boom. And boom. And you know what? I'll move this one. It's not doing very much there, and we'll put it right there. Okay. Perfect. Excuse me? It's not, gonna, it's not gonna let me in, huh? <laughs> Wait, what if I rotate? There we go. Okay, that's more like it. That's more like it. And then, okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a little. Oh, you know what we do? We do one like this. Get rid of this, and we'll just put like two chairs, one facing each direction. And then that way we won't have to worry about uh, rotating them this up. Yeet, yeet. And let's go ahead. I'll get another breakfast chair. You can't get any more crystal chairs out of here, so we're gonna have to do something else. How about a dark throne? Sounds pretty good to me. Alright, and now we can just do it like that. Perfect. Who needs gates, dude? Who needs gates? Alright. Welcome, welcome to my Stardew Valley farm tour. <laughs> How do you like my farm? Rate my farm? Alright, we're good to go. Now we can go ahead and uh, open up our coop and our barn again for the animals. 
Never thought the furniture catalog would be so superior. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and let, take it with us. This is gonna, this is gonna be a weird day when we look back in the like, across all the screenshots when all the tree columns just manifested. <laughs> I mean, I guess tomorrow will technically be the day that we actually see it in the screenshot, but principle holds true. Fractured out of farm. All right, furniture catalog. Um, honestly, I'm gonna put it just away for right now. You know what? You've earned you've earned your place of honor. You can go right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab everything else that I need. Like so. Perfect. All right. I'm off to bed, baby. Want a slideshow tomorrow? Once, once, after we do all the Junimo huts and everything, once, once this goal is complete, once we actually have a blue discus, I'm down to do a little slideshow, for sure. All right. Oh, we've been blessed as well, blessed by the rain gods, for our wonderful, wonderful fence, <laughs> our great tree column empire. Thank you, rain. Thank you, uh, rain totem gods. All right. Just a few more days. Just a few more days. Can we ride this rain out a little bit longer? All right, not quite. But I have faith. It'll. There's. There's more rainy days yet to come. Don't even worry about it. I can let the animals out now. One step ahead. Yeah, I already opened up their uh, their doors the other day. They are free to roam, and they will not be able to get past the tree columns. And if they do, I mean, they've honestly earned it at that point. What if the cow just like? What if they start eating the tree columns? <laughs> Bruh. Okay. Um, so go ahead and... So now things are going to get a little bit touchy. We don't need to water that anymore. We don't need to water the wheat. And we can't even accidentally harvest it, thankfully, because it's a nice uh, scythe crop. You know what would have been nice is if we could, like, fit a well in here somewhere so we could restock our watering can, but that's a little bit too much. That's a little bit too cute for me, I think. Anyone remember you can build a well in Stardew Valley? I would I would say I would hazard a guess that the well is one of the most chronically forgotten farm buildings, because like most people would never care to have one. The mill might take the number one spot. I don't know. Mill at least ha it has a much more practical purpose in my mind than the uh, than the well ever could hope to achieve. All right, watch out for the hot peppers. Many people are saying this. Watch out for the hot peppers. They're a little too spicy for me right now. Oh my gosh! You know what's not too spicy? Never too spicy. A little B boss dot O G G in your life. Ooh. Argon Gamer back at it again. I do see that. Argon Gamer, could you please... I appreciate the like and subscribe. The call to action is always appreciated, but please do not spam. This is your, uh... This is your second warning. Be very wary of your spam. Next season, we try, try to plant left to right, shorter growth to longer growth to a help accidental picking. You think I have the brain power to do that on the fly? <laughs> Could not be me. A greater Stardew Valley player may be able to make that happen, but... For me right now, I'm just too excited. I've got, I've got thoughts of dancing Junimos in my head. Okay, is that... Okay, those are not harvestable yet. I'm just looking at like these little guys right here. Which I think are radishes or something. Okay. Just be very conscious. I don't think anything else down here other than the ancient fruit is ready for harvest anyway. Pardon me, my chicken friends. built a well and you're too lazy to walk to the water right behind your house, you'll admit it. 
I mean, oh, having a well... Oh gosh, there was a chicken right there. I honestly might have accidentally petted that chicken. <laughs> there, there was a, there is a, a non-zero chance I was about to pet that chicken. Can I finish watering here? Six? Okay, we'll eat a salad. Fine. Use the mill when you don't want to pay Pierre. It's such a good it's such a good bonus. All right. You don't have to visit Pierre. You don't have to pay Pierre. You just get to you get to be entirely self-sustaining. It's very very handy. I, I think I saw some debris over here that I wanted to clear. Yeah, like that. You fell asleep and you totally missed the part where I was planting. Shania, are you... <laughs> is the planting really the part that surprised you most? What about the dozens upon dozens of tree columns surrounding the field of plants? Hope you had a good nap either way. Build fish ponds all the time too? In casual play? I don't know if I ever built a fish pond. During challenges, absolutely, they're they're pretty, pretty. They can be pretty integral to certain challenges, but uh, as far as just like a casual playthrough, I mean the old the last time I did a real casual playthrough of any kind was before fish ponds were even a thing in Stardew Valley, so kind of precludes that anyway. If they had been a thing back when I was doing more like casual stuff, then I would probably I would probably have invested in them because they just seem like a lot of fun. Fish ponds are your favorite farm building. I can see it, honestly. I, I can totally see it. I can see it being like anyone's favorite farm building. Chat, what's your favorite farm building? That's a, that's, a, that's honestly it's a good discussion topic. If I had to pick a favorite farm building in Stardew Valley, there's so many good options. Like, part of me wants to say the slime hutch, because I just really like the aesthetic of the slime hutch. It's not necessarily the most, you know, practical and pragmatic of farm buildings, but it is a it is a fun one. Dare I say mill. <laughs> mill, it's got a nice kind of, you know, country vibe to it. It's got, like, that simple living, um, you know, taking care of business yourself. It's got that kind of just good homey vibe to it. I can see the mill. What a beautiful fence. Welcome back, Wickedy. <laughs> I'm glad you like the fence. I saw this thing called a tree column in the furniture catalog, and the rest was history. Thankfully, I was smart enough to not do it along the bottom here. I don't want to be watering blind. I've got enough on my plate here. Poops because ducks. Okay, you know what? You make a, you make a valid point. Ducks, especially of the swimming variety. Pretty pretty good uh, vote in favor of coops right there. Wish the coop was still uncovered when it went deluxe. Oh, hold on. We got. I gotta be careful here. There's a. Uh, there's stuff that is harvestable now. Those little radishes right there. I gotta be very, very careful. Why did I buy the furniture catalog? Because I can't build fences. <laughs> Is the real answer to you. But honestly, furniture catalog, I think it's probably better than fences. I think just based on, on this little experiment alone, I, I prefer the furniture catalog to actually crafting my own fences. And I don't care who knows. Someday our ducks will swim. When we finally achieve perfection, we can pet our ducks all we want and watch them swim off into the sunset. Fill my inventory, it'll reduce the watering stress. Oh, fill my inventory so I can't accidentally harvest something. I see what you mean. But what would I possibly fill my inventory with? All right, I think that's everything watered. Let's go ahead and head out here. Didn't even have to eat a salad today. Uh, 
time to make more star shards. <laughs> and I get get a farming level, just pet ducks to get the farming level. Honestly, that wouldn't be like the worst way to spend my uh to spend my farming experience. To get ducks that can swim. I'd be okay with it. Alright, we want to fill up our inventory. I got the perfect idea. I'm going to fill up my inventory with futon bears. Can we get some bear emojis in chat? Just some bear emojis for our, for our bear army. My inventory is full. Alright, it's okay. No problem. Just put the futon bear down for a second. He just does a little tongue sticky outy face at us. While we collect our jades, and then we can reassemble the army. It's the Avengers of Futon Bears. Look at it. It's so good. <laughs> Floor Bear. <laughs> Alright, now we don't have to worry about accidentally harvesting anything. The bears will protect us. Chat, if you had told me at the start of this stream that I would be watering... A plethora, a, a smorgasbord of every summer crop amid a fenced-in area of tree columns while holding five futon bears in my inventory. I would tell you, yeah, that sounds about right. It sounds like something I would do. <laughs> that definitely sounds like me. T minus two days. It's going to be, like, perfect timing, too, because I am going to have to get going pretty quickly after we get the Junimo hut. Because I do have to work in, like, uh, in, like, T-minus, like, one hour. <laughs> I'd ask, what the heck is a tree column? Honestly, yeah, that's probably, that would probably be my first question. Raise your, raise your hand if this is the first time you've seen tree columns in Stardew Valley. I literally, I've seen, I mean, I'm sure I've seen, I'm sure people have, like, decorated with them before. I don't watch a lot of decorating stuff, but, I, like, even if the decorating videos that I've seen, I feel like these tree columns, I never see them. They're so cool, though. Hi. Hi. Alright. Plants. No, not plant. Water me. You would, but you were just scouring the furniture catalog not long ago. I can't wait to see what other hidden treasures may may wait in the furniture catalog, to be honest with you. The discovery of tree columns has, has invigorated me to want to discover even more. You get deep into decorative objects in any game you play. Cass, what's your favorite furniture piece in Stardew Valley? If you had to pick one, I know it could be like for some people it's like picking a favorite child. But if you had to if you had to say one, what's your snap pick? Imagine it'd be very hard to water the plant on top, IRL. Ain't no way that's a real plant. That's a that's a that's some plastic grass right up there. Little astroturf. Iridium Crobus or trash can? Iridium Crobus is a top tier choice. Imagine a fence made purely out of Iridium Crobi. Oh, it would be a beautiful thing. Alright, I think we've watered everything that needs to be watered. Let's go. Fan of the Junimo plush and all the bears. Yo, we still haven't picked up a Ju the Junimo plush from like behind the community center and stuff. Or like near the community center. We should do that one day. Unwatered plant on the above the stump on the left, Laisha. You have eagle eyes. If this is if this is a true fact, I missed a crop. Above the stump on the left. Ah, right there. Okay. I was thinking like above this stump, and I'm like, that's that's just grass. That's just grass. <laughs> All right, 
two more one two more sleeps chat two more sleeps for the star fruit of our dreams let's make this happen Whew, okay no rain today means we have to we have to sit through one more watering session well two more watering sessions I guess inventory full huh it's okay Put one of our bears on the ground. We'll go ahead and grab a cherry here. Perfect. Bring the bear back. What the bear doing? You love the Junimo plush of every color from the C Crane game? Crane game Junimo plush underrated for sure. Tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. I don't even know what I'm going to bring. I almost want to bring something actually good, but I can't, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> As much as I want to, to just celebrate the occasion. Okay. Sunflowers are grown. Red cabbage not grown. Hops not grown. Okay. And then melons, obviously. Put the bear in the pot. <laughs> no, not my futon bears. I could never sacrifice them, even though I have an unlimited supply. I will, I will cherish them with my, with everything I've got. I literally just met this futon bear, but if anything were to happen to him, I'd, I'd kill everyone in this room and then myself. Is that how the quote goes? Excuse me. Trying to sneak in some stealth pets? I don't think so. Each hootie and chicken can have their own their own futon bear. Chat, if I fill up my coop with futon bears, can the witch not uh, put void eggs down? If I just have a a a carpet of all all futon bears, will no void eggs be allowed to spawn anymore? Follow up question: Will my animals be able to get inside? <laughs> Only one way to find out. I like the I like the chutzpah. do it. Maybe that'll be a, uh, a a project for tomorrow. Right now, I am a little pressed for time, but I can't possibly end this before we get this Junimo hut. There's just, there's no way I could do that. Not after everything we've been through. Alright, is that everything watered that needs to be watered? We need the star fruit down here and the tomatoes as well. That one Summer Spangle came into a, a very nice color. It might be my favorite color of Summer Spangle, to be honest with you. All right, this melon right here as well. Is that everything watered? I'm going to say that's probably everything watered. Just quick little perusal with my eyes. Even when I have the Junimos, I'll still need to water it. Now I'll just put my watering can in the Junimo hut, and then they'll, they'll figure it out on their own eventually. come out the next day and they'll just be walking around with miniature watering cans. All right. The day is upon us. The day is not upon us. I missed the melon apparently. I missed the I missed a single solitary melon. If I didn't actually miss a melon, then you guys are our expert level trolls right now. Let's see. Melon. Melon. Perfect. Alright. Thanks for the save, chat. Thank you for the save. Not trolling. That would have been it would have been a pretty great troll. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I know you guys better than that. You you guys wouldn't troll about something so important. Alright. Now, 
The day is finally upon us. Summer 11th of year 7 has arrived. Year 7. Let's go futon bears. You know, I still actually I'm still going to keep the futon bears for right now because I need them to protect me from from myself. Because we are going to do a little bit one final watering session. There might, well, there might be a watering session tomorrow. We'll see. Because I'm going to have to build the Junmo Hut tomorrow, probably. I'm not going to be able to make it down to the wizard in time. We're all very excited. I know. Myself, possibly more than anybody else. Let's get this chore done. And let's get that star fruit. Ninth star fruit incoming. I never thought I would see the day, to be honest with you. When I set out on a journey of a thousand steps, my, I took my first step, and I'm like, there's no way that the randomizer would sort, would, would hand me a selection of goals that would force me to get this Junimo hut this early. And you know what the randomizer said? The randomizer said, catch this blue discus. How about that? Don't forget to water the hops. Good eye. Good catch. Pretend to put the star fruit in the soup. I would never do that. I, I'm, I take things very seriously around here. You think I would ever troll about something like that? Nah. You're going to miss the stream tomorrow? <laughs> You'll have to cancel yours to watch the Junimo harvest crops. Wickedy, no! It's okay. We'll give you the cliff notes after the fact. Hopefully you'll have just as exciting things going on on your stream tomorrow. And uh and we'll we'll go from there. That said, you depending on how things go tomorrow, you may miss the rolling of our new goal cuz once we get once we get the quality pumpkins, like we'll never we have to get quality melons and and corn first, I suppose. But once we have all the quality crops, we're basically pivoting to Joja and going straight to Ginger Island. The Luau has begun on the beach. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Save some for me. All right. Let's go ahead. Pretty much everything else down here is already fully grown, except for these guys here. Don't forget to this last little section of melons as well. Okay. Is that everything? I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm very excited to get to the beach, but is that everything? Is that everything? I'm going to hit these just in case. I can't really see them. That's everything. That's everything? I think we're good. All right. Bhutan bears, please sit this one out for right now. Protect the, protect the crops with your lives, and I will be back. I will be back in the near future. I'm going. I'm going. I'm gone, actually. All right. We got to we got to get them all in one place. All in one place at the same time here. Eight star fruit to our name. We've slept long and we've slept hard and we've prepared more than I ever thought we could. And here we are. Sap for the soup? Nah, we're just we're gonna give nothing in the soup. We're gonna be we're gonna be in and out like a ghost. It's the way Beatrix has lived her life up till this point, and it's the way she's gonna continue to for the foreseeable future until until Yoba decides to, to cut her a break. Here we go. Pierre, it's been a pleasure doing business with you these past seven years. Give me my final, extremely juicy fruit that grows in hot, humid weather. Star fruit, please. Nine star fruit in my inventory. That's a Junimo hut waiting to happen. Let's do it. Let's let's finish this off. I I, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do with myself. Where am I supposed to go? I forget how the luau works. Ah. All right. Yes. Let's start, please. Just just, just get on with it. Get on with the show here. 
Can we get some star emojis in chat, please? Star emojis for the star fruit of our destiny. Alright, forget all this. No one needs to listen to, to you ramble on again. Well, Governor, would you... Oh, what would... Of course, I... And he's gonna, he's gonna sip it, he's gonna be like, it's missing some potatoes or something, I don't even know. Dot, dot, dot. Come on, come on. Governor, this is the last thing... Alright, did everyone in tat... No, no one... I, get... Ah! Stop it! <laughs> I don't have any witty banter for you, I don't have any jokes, I just want my Junimo hut. I just want my little Junimos. Thanks for joining us this year, sorry it wasn't very special. It was a very special luau, Lewis. Don't you dare say a word about this luau. Just because the soup is bland, that's on you. You should have thrown some extra truffle oil in there or something, you fool. All right. Nine star fruit. What else do you need for a Junimo hunt? <laughs> you need stone and fiber, right? Stone and fiber. Let's sleep. Let's sleep. Let's lock this in. Officially lock this in. No rain today. That's fine. Let's go get our Junimos. Let's go make this happen. Let's let's make history. Why not get it tonight? I mean, the Junimos wouldn't have been able been able to harvest anyway tonight. So, or that night, they, they don't harvest past like a certain time of day, right? All right, Argon Gamer. You have had your, uh, you've had your warnings. <laughs> Take that as strike two. One more, you're out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Get this the heck out of my way. Hello, Traveling Merchant. Goodbye, Traveling Merchant. I forgot you are even a, a character. I saw you over there, and I was like, what the heck is she doing in my Sindersat Forest? We're not here for her. We're not here for any of this debris right now. We are here for one thing and one thing only. I have worked long and hard for this moment. Junimos will harvest crops around the hut for you. 20,000 big ones, 9 star fruit, and a dream. Here... We go. Build me a Junimo hut. Are my melons ready? No. But they'll harvest it the next. It's not like a Junimo hut is like a one time. Like it's not. They're they're still gonna be here tomorrow, right? Look, the space has been preserved so perfectly. It's so perfect. It was made for them. Welcome the Junimos to our farm. Oh, baby. Let's go home. Let's go home and see them at work. We got a rush. They're probably already farming as we speak. You know, spam it, spam. I was here. I was here. Triple exclamation point in chat. This is a very pivotal moment. This is when the floodgates finally open for this challenge. The world has just opened up to us in a big way with the help of these Junimos. And I don't, I don't even have words for it. Chat. They're doing it. They're doing it. They're harvesting. Look at them go. They're so... They're, oh, he harvested the, the wheat. He's punching the wheat. Look at him go. My Junimo friends, thank you so much. I I I'm at a I am at a loss for words. This this this, this guy's stuck. He's you know, he, okay. He's just taking a minute. He was just taking a minute to get a breather. Ancient fruit. He got the ancient fruit. Let's go. All right. I'm. Hold on. We know what. I mean, this is almost perfect. This is almost perfect. We just have to do one last thing to finalize it here. We have to, have to do one final thing. We prepared this way back towards the start of the stream. It's finally time for it to come full circle. One down there just vibing. 
All right, put all this away. Where was it? Was it? No, no, no not there. Not there. Lucky Junimo time. Water? We will wa we'll water the field, don't worry. Just, just let me have this moment. You think I can think about watering my crops at a time like this? <laughs> when Junimos are on deck? When the Junimo hut has finally arrived after such a such a long time? Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> it's a bounty! It's a beautiful bounty! Star Shard. Will they, will they change color tomorrow? I assume they'll change color tomorrow, right? What? He's gone. They're all gone. Alright, well, let's water everything that needs to be watered, which I guess is everything now, right? The Junimos took care of the rest. Junimo really went and said, I'd have to go, my people need me, and just, like, just, just went away. <laughs> Where'd they go? They're they're gone. They finished. They they finished for the day, and now they're they've gone home to rest. It's a whole luau pot in there. This feels weird. This feels so weird, chat. <laughs> it feels weird to be like like farming like this, but it feels so right. This is what this challenge is all about, is these quirky little methods that we get to use. Sleeping until year seven, until we can actually, like, productively farm in some way. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. We have the Junimos. The Junimos have arrived. Also, where's my music at? The music went and stopped again. I need to, like, reach the end of the playlist. I don't know. I'll have to look at the settings for this new music player thing I got going. Don't forget to water the hops. I'm pretty sure I did. Didn't, didn't, I didn't forget to water the hops. I mean, I did water the hops. They appear watered to me at a, at a glance, but I will go and double check. When do I need to eat the farmer's lunch? Well, the, I don't have a farmer's lunch per se. I do have to eat a farming buff food on the day that the Junimos are going to harvest the uh, the crops that we want to be high quality. So the the melons and the and the corn and stuff. So that is the main crux of that. So I should have it, I guess, ready to go. Like, just in my inventory for when that does happen, right? Yeah, I'll want to eat the farming buff as, like, as soon as possible, basically. So what day are will the melons be ready? We planted them. We didn't get to water them until the second of, of summer. So what day will they be ready? Because they take what? They take 14... No, they take 13 days to grow? So they'd be ready on, like, the, on the 14th? Or they'll be, oh, they'll be ready tomorrow? Even though I missed the, the first day of watering them at the start of summer? The 14th? The, four the 14th seems right to me. Also, is that everything watered? I think so. Either way, yeah, we can always reset if we need to. Reclaim the futon bears. What am I going to do with these futon bears for right now? You know, I know how this is going to look, chat. I know how this is, this is going to look. Wait, I just put that futon bear on top of the furniture catalog? You can do that? All right, you can protect the furniture catalog, my little friend. And the rest of them, I'm just going to put them back in the furniture catalog. I know it looks like I'm throwing them in the trash, but they're just going in the furniture catalog. I didn't know you could put stuff on top of the furniture catalog, for the record. That's kind of wild. <laughs> They're just in the furniture catalog waiting for, for their day, chat. Don't worry about it. Alright. Go to sleep for the night. End off the most important day in the challenge so far, arguably. I think so. I think we're good. Nope. We're not good. 
get that farming buff. Get those pepper poppers ready for a nice 6 a.m. snack. All right, and now we lock it in. There we go. Nice rainy day too. You love to see it. I think I think this is this is always a rainy day, right? Thirteenth. I, I want to go see. Wait. Oh, they won't go out on a rainy day. They won't go out on a rainy day, will they? Because they are uh, they're Junimos and they're scared. So we don't we don't get to see the pink Junimos today. Tomorrow it is, unless tomorrow's also raining. <laughs> <laughs> and the day after, and the day after, my little Junimos. Ooh, we got lots of stuff ready today, actually. All right. Well, you know what? We may have to leave it on a cliffhanger then, because I actually, I like, I want to, I want to, there's probably some stuff, there's maybe some resetting and stuff that we have to do for the quality crops. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream off here and then tomorrow same time same place we are going to go ahead and come back and and continue on this journey i know i know everyone wants to see the pink junimos me myself very much included everyone wants to to see this through we'll sleep th we'll sleep the night away here actually no we'll we won't sleep we'll that way i'll have some time to like breathe when i come into the stream tomorrow but Thank you all for being here with me for this very monumental occasion. The Junimo Hut has officially made it to our farm. We can actually farm crops now <laughs> in this farming simulator. I'm simulating a farming simulator for myself. But I do have to get going, unfortunately. I will be back same time, same place tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope to see you there, and uh, whatever that might entail, we might have, by, by the end of tomorrow, I think there's a decent chance we are going to go ahead and have a blue discus in one of our aquariums here. Until then, though, I'm going to go ahead and get the heck out of here. Have a great night, day, whatever it might be, everybody. And I will see you all on the flip side. Be good to one another. Be good to each other. And as always, this is Argon Matrix. Signing on out. Thank you and have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.